I made these paper airplanes. Go get it. Ow, Jeffy, you poked me in the eye. Marvin, are you okay? No, he poked me in the eye. You want to see it fly? No. Prepare for takeoff. No way, bro. Why do you start with the pieces from the bottom? Because this is how daddy plays Jenga. I've never lost a game of Jenga. See, not even that paper airplane can make me lose. Ha, undefeated. Where'd my paper airplane go? I don't know, Jeffy. I can't see where it went because you poked me in the eye. Marvin, it was an accident. He was an accident. Marvin. <laughs> Jeffy, stop crying. Marvin, why would you say that to him? Because it's, it's probably true. He was probably an accident. Marvin, cheer him up. <sighs> Jeffy, do you want to watch TV? Yeah. What do you want to watch? <laughs> Elmo. Okay, I'll turn on Elmo. Yay! Breaking news, okay? The entire New England Patriots football team is sick. They have explosive diarrhea and may not be able to play against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers tomorrow. That's not Elmo! Oh my gosh, an entire NFL team is sick? How are they gonna play? They're probably gonna have to forfeit. Who's at the door? Maybe it's Elmo coming to cheer me up. No, it's not, because Elmo's not real. <laughs> Hello? Hey, bro. What, Dak, what are you doing here? Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Okay, ask. No, can I come inside and ask? Wh why can't you just ask? Wait, what happened to your leg? Oh, I broke it in three places, and I didn't get a cast on it, because I'm a man, so it healed sideways. Ouch. Yeah. So, can I come inside? Why can't you ask the question here? Because it hurts to stand. <sighs> come inside. Yeah. Who was at the door, Marvin? Your ex-boyfriend, Dak. <laughs> Here. What a pleasant surprise! Yeah, Dak, what are you doing here? Well, I have to ask you something. Then ask it! You keep saying that! Well, did you see on the news how the Patriots all got sick? Yeah, I saw it. They can't play. Well, the Patriots called me, and they said they want me to play for them. Aw, how wonderful! Yeah, how wonderful. I hope you break a leg, but why are you telling us about this? Well, because the Patriots said they want me to assemble a team of my friends to play football. So that's why I came here to ask you if I could go on a date with your wife. Wait, no! Why would I let you go on a date with my wife? Because I'm the quarterback for the Patriots. I could, like, get you tickets and stuff. No, you can't go on a date with her. Who are you going to get to play for your team, Dak? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't really have any friends. I wonder why. Marvin could do it. What? I, I can't play football. Yeah, this old geezer can't play football. Well, yeah, I can. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I bet I can play football better than you can, Dak. Okay, old man, then you're on the team. Yay! Marvin's going to be a Patriot! Well, yeah, I'm going to play for the Patriots and have like 300 pound guys trying to kill me. Yeah, but I don't really have any other friends, so I need you to find two other guys we can play football with. What, two other guys? Yeah, four people. That's how many people are on a football team, right? <sighs> I'll look for as many guys as I can. So you want to make out? Oh, Dak, you silly goose. You know I'm married. <laughs> don't mess up, man. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. You, you know you're supposed to put the pieces on the top once you take one, right? No, that's dumb. Those are dumb rules. Those are the right rules! No, you're just supposed to take the pieces out and put them down anywhere. That's not how you play! Well, that's how I win. You put the pieces back on top, it just gets hard. That's, that's the point of the game! That's the rules! Look, man, if you don't know how to play, that's okay. If you want to forfeit, just tell me. I know how to play! Okay, take your piece then. God. Hey, guys. <laughs> I win, loser! You're not playing by the right rules! Oh yeah, well at least I didn't hire somebody to throw a paper airplane at the tower when it was my turn. I didn't hire anybody to throw a paper airplane! Look, it came out of nowhere! Oh, it came out of nowhere, okay. He tried to cheat. I didn't cheat! Hey man, calm down, it's just a board game, calm down. I mean, I won, but calm down. Gang of champion over here, calm down. I mean, you never beat me, but calm down. Anyway, what'd you want, man? Well, uh, on, the, on the news, the Patriots are sick and they can't play this weekend. Oh yeah, I heard about that on the news, because your TV upstairs is really loud. Do you have hearing problems? Well, look, anyway, the Patriots said that, you know, if we want to play, we can assemble our own team and we can play for them. What? Really? Yeah, we can play for them if you want to. Well, oh, okay. I, I mean, they're playing against Tom Brady. Wait, just anybody? What, they're playing Tom Brady? We're going to lose. Yeah, they're playing the Buccaneers, but I mean, that's fine. I'll play. Wait, will you play Chevy? Yeah, I'll play. Hold on, I'm not doing anything. All right, so you guys are in. You're going you're gonna to play. Yeah! All right, I'm gonna go tell him that we're gonna play. <laughs> so, uh, do you wanna, like, cuddle? <laughs> no, Dak, you silly goose. All right, Dak, I found two guys. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna go look for, like, 45 more people. Nah, four's good. No, there's, like, 50 people on a football team. Nah, I think we're ready. Anyway, we're gonna ride the Patriots' private plane to Boston tomorrow. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, my gosh, Marvin, you're gonna play for the Patriots! 
I know, I'm kind of nervous, but we have to tell Jeffy that we're going because, you know, I'm not going to bring him, so we're going to leave him home alone. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Googling if Elmo's real. Well, look, Jeffy, here's $100. Oh, well, I don't care if Elmo's real because it's Hundo's real. Why are you giving me money, Daddy? Because me and Mommy are going out of town. Oh, where are you going? It's none of your business, Jeffy. Use that money for food. Well, how long are you going to be gone for? A day. Okay, so I could just not eat for a day and pocket 100 bucks. No, Jeffy, order pizza or something. Or I could not order pizza and just buy Fortnite skins. But look, Jeffy, do whatever you want with the money, but we'll be back in a day. All right, Daddy. Marvin, I can't believe you're a football player. I'm married to an athlete. Yeah, that's cool, baby. Just shut up. Are you nervous? Yeah, you know I hate flying. I'm afraid of flying. Marvin, you don't have to wear all your football gear yet. Y yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because if we crash, the helmet will protect my head. Okay, you keep telling yourself that. No, yeah, we're going down. We're going down. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, but look how high up we are, though. Oh, man, we got to be like 32,000 feet in shut the air. Shut up. No, 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 don't tell me that. Just look down. Look how far away the ground is. Shut up. Oh, man, we couldn't get out of this plane if we wanted to. Oh, please don't tell me that. We're going so fast. <sighs> oh, man, we look like ants. I mean, they look like ants, but we look like birds, you know, because they fly. Shut up. Speaking of birds, there's a bunch flying towards the engine. Sully! Sully! Oh, I hate my life. Marvin, if you get nervous, just stare at the screen ahead of you. You're right. I should just watch a movie, like Deadpool. What's up, bro? What do you want, dick? My helmet's too small for my head. I'm sorry about that. Look, bro, I think we should go over the game plan because I don't want you messing this up for me. I mean, I'm a pro, but have you even played football? I've played Madden a few times. Dak, he's gonna be fine. Yeah, he better because I've never lost a game in my life. You see my jersey? See that number? That's how many games I've lost. Double zero. I've double never lost. Baby, I'm gonna get something out of my suitcase. Okay, Marvin. I need to get my headphones. Hey, Daddy! What, Jeffy, what are you doing here? I already snuck on your plane to be with you. Well, what do you mean you snuck on the plane? You're supposed to stay home. I gave you money for pizza. Well, I already spent that money on V-Bucks. Jeffy, that was for pizza. Oh, you can't be here. Look, I gotta focus. I got a job to do. But I can help you, Daddy. How can you help? I'll be your ball boy. Well, you're already on the plane. They can't turn around. Okay, just be quiet and don't distract me. All right, Daddy. <sighs> Baby, you're not gonna believe this. Jeffy's stuck on the plane. Oh, I took your wife's seat. You took my wife's seat? Where'd she go? Oh, she's sitting up next to Zach or Jack or whatever the hell his name Dak? is. Why is she sitting next to Dak? I don't know. Bro, play Jenga with me. What? Jenga? On an airplane? Yeah, it'll be fun. What? No, it's gonna fall over. Nah, no, it won't. Come on, let's play. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I want this one. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, good. Almost there. Oh, 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 Hey, you want to play again? What? No, the turbulence is going on. Now, nah, let's play again. I'll get the piece. Ugh. Hello and welcome to Sunday Afternoon Football. Today, the New England Patriots are going to be taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's go down to the field. Okay, it's the opening coin toss. Tom, you're the visiting team, so call it in the air. Heads. It is heads. We want the ball. Okay, we have to do the opening kickoff, so who's gonna kick it? I don't have legs. Yeah, me neither. Ugh, I'll do it, bro. But you're the quarterback. I can do everything. Let me do it. Okay. Okay, I'm kicking off. Ugh. What kind of kick was that, Dak? Yeah, that sucked, Dak. Bro, I was going for like a sneak onside kick. They weren't expecting it. Oh, are you sure you don't just suck at kicking? No, bro, I'm good at everything. Let's get on defense. Oh, I'm gonna get you, Brady. I'm gonna get you, Brady. Blue 42, set, hut. <laughs> okay, where you at, Gronk? Uh, I'm open, I'm open! Uh, oh, damn it! Touchdown, Gronk Spike! Uh. Touchdown, Tampa Bay Buccaneers! What the hell was that, Marvin? Yeah, Marvin. Yeah, you left them wide open! Well, it's Gronk Kalki, he's hard to cover! Well, let me cover him next time, I can cover him. Who's gonna get the kickoff? Ooh, me, me! I got it, I got it! Nah, give me this shit! Hey, man, I was gonna return it! Ooh, look at me go, look at me go! Oh, 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 where am I going, where am I going? Oh, got your ass! <laughs> hey, guys, I'm about to get this touchdown! Look at me, look at me! <laughs> oh, tackled at the one yard line. Shouldn't have been showboating. Ow, ow. Chef Vivi, why didn't you score the touchdown? Come on, you know I like to showboat a little bit. Okay, look, we're on the one yard line. All we have to do is run it in. Nah, bro, I'm gonna throw it. What, throw it? What? What's wrong with you? It's a little lesson I learned from Super Bowl 49. When you're on the one, you throw it. <sighs> okay, look, someone get open. Okay, I've done this before. Uh, green, 20, Abraham Lincoln, hike. <laughs> Where we at? Where we at? Oh, wide open all day. Ugh. What the hell was that, Dak? I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. The Buccaneers intercepted it and ran it back for a touchdown. Uh, did I stop him? Why didn't you tackle him, Marvin? Well, why did Dak throw an interception? I just ate popcorn, bro. No, you didn't. Yes, I did, extra butter. <sighs> Let's get ready for kickoff. It's coming to me, my time to shine. Ugh. Wait, what do I do? Ow! 
Brooklyn guy, are you okay? Mrs. Perkins, my dog ate my homework. Can I turn it in tomorrow? Oh, he's knocked out. Marvin, we need another player. We're already down two touchdowns. We should just forfeit. Hey, Danny. <laughs> I'm here, Danny. Put me in, coach. No, Jeff, you're not playing football. Look what happened to him. It's too dangerous. But we're down by two touchdowns. Y'all can help. No. Come on, bro. We need him. Yeah, we don't have anybody else. Okay, fine. But if you get hurt, don't come crying to me. All right, bro. We're going to run it. I'm going to hand the ball to Jeffy. All right, Jeffy. When you get that ball, act like if you get in the end zone, you don't ever have to eat green beans ever again. Got it. All right. Okay. Uh, Declaration of Independence, 1776. Hike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna eat green beans again! You're going away! Touchdown! Touchdown, Patriots! He did it! He did it! You got touchdown, Jeffy! Way to go, Jeffy! Oh, okay, wait. we're still down by a touchdown. So, I need you to do an onside kick. What's that? Well, you did earlier! Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I, got I got it, I got it. Damn it! Oh, we have to hope for an interception. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, we need an interception. So if you intercept this ball and run it back for a touchdown, I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese later. Falcon suck, 28-3, hike. Oh, well, there you are, Gronk. I can't believe it, folks. He's intercepted the football. He intercepted it. Go, Jeffy, go. Go, Jeffy, go. He has to score. There's only three seconds left. Gotta get attention. <laughs> Gotta get attention. <laughs> oh, so close. Tackled at the one. The Buccaneers win. I can't believe it. We lost. Wow. I hate my life. Good game, bro. <sighs> Good game, Brady. Don't tell anyone, but we deflated the footballs. Wait, what? Ugh, I can't believe we lost. Marvin, don't be sad. You thought you were going to lose anyway. But baby, we were so close to winning. Jeffy, why didn't you score the touchdown? Are you kidding me? I put the team on my back. I got an interception and a touchdown. Don't give me shit. Jeffy! No, no, we straight. I'm just going to play with my paper airplane. <sighs> okay, I'm playing by your rules. I put the piece back on top. You happy? All right, it's your turn. Yes, I'm happy because we're playing by the right rules. Okay, which one do I want? Even with your own rules, you suck! Yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, I love playing Fortnite. Trying to unlock your new Spider-Man skin. Yeah. Jeffy, did you just charge my credit card? Sure did, Danny. Well, I had to get the new Fortnite Battle Pass. You didn't ask for permission. Oh, I'm sorry, Danny. <clears throat> You're gonna do a bunch of chores tomorrow to make that money back. <clears throat> Alright, sure thing, Daddy. <clears throat> hey! I was playing that! Jeffy, you have to go to bed. It's your bedtime. You have school tomorrow. But I just need 64 more matches before I get this Spider-Man skin. How long is that going to take? All night. You're not playing video games all night, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. Well, then let me finish this one match. Okay. And then 63 more. Oh, finally. I got this Spider-Man skin. Now I get to play a Spider-Man. Victory emote dance. Hmm. <sighs> Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Uh, what? You have to go to school, Jeffy. Oh, no, Dad. I'm too tired to go to school. Did you stay up all night playing video games? No. But, Jeffy, I told you to go to bed last night. It's your fault that you stayed up, so you're going to school. Oh, but, Daddy, I'm too tired. Well, if you're tired now, you're definitely going to be tired after school because I have a lot of chores for you to do after school. So go to school. Oh. oh. Go. All right, class, today we're going to be learning about the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. So we're going to play this fun little game where I pretend each of your faces are Earth and this ball is the meteor. I'm going to throw it as fast as I can at you, and if you dodge the ball, then you save the dinosaurs. All right, Cody, you're first. Oh, man. Yeah! Got his ass! Looks like the dinosaurs are dead in your world, Cody. Junior, you're next. Oh. <laughs> Good dodge, Junior. It looks like the dinosaurs are still alive in your world. In Cody's world, the dinosaurs are double dead. All right, Jeffy, you're next. Ugh. Oh, Cody, I'm so sorry. My aim was a little off. It, it, it's fine. I'm just going to spend the rest of the class down here. I understand, Cody. All right, Jeffy, it's your turn. Did, did Jeffy dodge it? What? Boom! Okay, that's it. I'm going home. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Cody. Ugh, I hate this class. Ow! Eat shit, Cody! I'm on fire today, class. I can put the ball anywhere I want. All right, Jeffy, your turn. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, you suck. Oh, Jeffy, looks like the dinosaurs are dead in your world. Bully, think fast. <laughs> I caught it. Hey, Jeffy, think fast. <laughs> Hey, 
Are you effing with me? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Cause I might be tired, but I can still kick your ass! <laughs> hey! Jeffy! Morty! Stop fighting! Hold on real quick, I gotta do something. Oh, hey, Cody! Oh. I wanna transfer to another school. Ow! Suck that, Cody, you nerd! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeffy, how was school today? Huh? How was school today? Uh, good. I'm tired. But no, you can't go to sleep yet, mister. You still have chores to do. Hold on. Take this and that and go wash all the windows in the house. Uh, uh, tired. Go wash all the windows. Ah! Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh my God, Jesus Christ! What oh he happened? He got in my eyes. Oh my God, Marvin! Uh, I can't see. I can't see. We need to go to the hospital. Uh, yeah, take me, take me, take me. Jeffy, how could you do that? Oh, oh. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Oh my god, he got it in my eye! Oh, baby, baby, oh, Jeffy, you're grounded. You are so grounded. Morgan, oh, I can't see! Oh, 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 Jeffy, call 911. Call 911. Huh? Oh, call 911. We oh. need to go to the hospital. Oh, okay, 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 Jeffy, I would never ask you to do this, but I need you to drive us to the hospital, okay? Huh? Oh, drive us to the hospital. Come on, baby. Oh, drive us to the hospital. Jeffy, come on. We gotta go to the hospital. Oh, okay. All right, Jeffy, hurry up and drive us to the hospital. But drive safely. Huh? Just, just drive us to the hospital, Jeffy. We have to go to the hospital. Okay. What are you, what are you doing, Jeffy? Hurry, hurry, just hurry up. Uh. Je Jeffy, Je Je Jeffy, get, get off the horn, Jeffy. Huh? Well, you're on the horn, Jeffy. Like, just drive us to the hospital. What? Are there sirens? Pretty blue line. What, what, Jeffy, why are you getting pulled over? Look, 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 just talk to the cop and just tell him that you're taking us to the hospital, okay? Okay. Yeah, I bet this guy's drunk. Hey, roll your window down. Roll your window down. Jeffy, Jeffy, roll your window down for the cop. Huh? But, roll your window down. But, roll your window down, Jeffy. Hey. Tell him you're taking us to the hospital. Okay. What do you want? Jesus, car full of junkies. Oh uh, no, officer, we're not. We're not a car full of junkies. Look, uh, he, he sprayed cleaning chemicals in my eyes. Oh, you're getting high on cleaning chemicals, huh? Oh no, 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 no. He sprayed in our eyes, and he was taken to the hospital. Look, man, I don't care how you do it. It's still illegal. I can't believe this. Doing it in front of your kid like that, then making him drive you to the hospital. No, 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 no. I promise you, officer, it's just a big misunderstanding. Well, you're all under arrest. You're coming with me. Come uh, on. Uh, no. Ugh, I can't believe we had to bail ourselves out of jail. At least our eyes are feeling better, Marvin. I just want to watch TV and forget about what happened today. Breaking news, okay? A local couple, pictured to the left of the screen, was arrested for making their kid drive them around while they were zooted on cleaning supplies. Oh my god! Oh great, now the whole town thinks we're junkies and that we treat our son bad. Then only one of those things is true! I'm tired. Oh, you're not going to bed yet, mister. You ruined our entire day and got us arrested. So now, you know what? You're going to make us dinner. What? Yeah, he's going to make us dinner. We deserve to relax after all the hell we were put through today. So, Jeffy, go make us some chicken nuggets. But, Marvin, he just needs some rest. No, no, no. He can rest after he gets done with his chores, and I want him to make us dinner. So go make us some chicken nuggets. What? Go make us chicken nuggets. Okay. Go. <sighs> Is there a fire? Uh -huh. Wait, it's you again. Oh man, this house. Get out of my way. Ah, someone help us! Jesus, look at that fire! Oh yeah, can you help us please? Oh my god, not you two again. What are you junkies doing now? Trying to cook cleaning chemicals? What? No, 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 it's just a big misunderstanding. Wait, you trying to get high on the fumes? Oh no! Alright, I'm gonna put out this fire, then you're going back to jail! Oh, come on! I cannot believe we went to jail twice in one day. At least the house isn't on fire, Marvin. Can you stop trying to find positive stuff about this? Today's not positive. It's a horrible day. Oh my god, Marvin, look the news! Oh my god. Breaking news, okay? Those junky parents are back at it again. This time, they were arrested for trying to make their kid cook cleaning supplies. When will they stop? Wow, now we can never show our face around town ever again again. Marvin, just let Jeffy get some sleep. No, I'm not gonna let Jeffy get some sleep. He got us arrested twice. The whole town thinks we're junkies and we can start fires and stuff like that. So I gotta think of the biggest, baddest punishment ever for Jeffy. Marvin, just let him sleep. No! Wait. Jeffy, are you sleeping? No, wake up. Marvin! I gotta wake him up. Wake up, Jeffy. 
Child Protective Services, I'm here to check on... Oh, oh, no, 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 I was just trying to wake him up. No, I think I know what's going on here. Yeah, I took away your cleaning supplies, so now you're taking out your withdrawal anger on your kid. Is what? that it? No, I was just trying to wake him up. He's sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping because he's been up all night driving you around and cooking your cleaning supplies. Well, no, 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 I was trying to wake him up so I could punish him. But not punish him by hitting him, but, but like by doing other stuff. All right, that's it. You're coming with me. Oh, no! Well, hey, Marvin. Well, hey, Marvin. What? How was jail? I'm so tired from being arrested three times in one day. Marvin, can we please let Jeffy go to sleep now? Oh, no. No, no, no. He got me arrested three times. Not two. Three. So, I'm going to make sure he stays up for like two days straight so that he can know the stress of never going to sleep again because... He made me get rid of and I'm gone. Okay, guys, are you ready to play with my new Robo Rage toy? Oh, cool, Bish versus Bosh. Oh, dude, I want to be Chris Bosh. And I want to be Bish, because I'm 100% that Bish. I want to play with the new robot toy. So let's open it and play with it. I go first. No, dude, I want to go first. No, I want to go first. Guys, it's my toy, so I get to go first. No, I want to go first. I get to go first. I get to go first. Okay, guys, listen. We need to buy two more of these robots so we all can play. All right, let's buy two more. But this is a $100 toy, Jeffy. We don't have $100. Well, maybe we could raise money. Like, we could do a car wash or something. Like, I could take my shirt off and wash cars. Well, honestly, I just want an excuse to take my shirt off. Yeah, guys, we could wash cars and raise the money, and then we could all play with the robots. So, look, let's go wash some cars, guys. All okay. right. Okay. Uh, time to get Marvin's house painted. Hey, Nanny, can I go outside and wash cars with my friends? No! Why? 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 I don't get it! Why? Man, come on, let Jeffy go outside and do a job. But, baby, he's gonna be touching other people's cars and he might damage them and then it'll be my problem. But, Marvin, you're not gonna give him money, so let him go work for it. Yeah, Nanny, I'm a working man. Okay, fine, Jeffy, you can go wash cars, but if you damage anyone's car, it's your responsibility. I don't know what responsibility means, but I got it, Daddy. Oh, this is a bad idea. Who's at the door? Hello? Hey Marvin, I'm here for your house payment. Oh, Goodman, uh, well, you see, I don't have my house payment this month. You know what this is, Marvin? A banana? Mm-hmm. Why, why, why are you peeling a banana? Because this banana represents your wiener. And if you don't have your house payment by the end of the day today, this is what I'm gonna do to your wiener. What? I'm gonna cut it off, Marvin. I'm gonna cut off your wiener. Oh, okay, okay, look, I will get the house payment by the end of the day. Well, now I'm gonna come inside and use your bathroom and clog your toilet. What the, 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 oh. Oh, guys, look, a Lamborghini. Let's wash this car. But, Junior, this guy didn't ask us to clean his car. I know, Cody, but if we wash it and do a really good job, the guy will come out and go, damn, you cleaned my car really good. Here's a thousand bucks. Junior, I don't think forcing people to pay us for stuff they didn't ask for is a really great business model. Cody, just shut up and wash the car and look sexy. Okay, that I can do. Junior, I don't have a sponge. Um, well, go find one. Okay. I think they grow in the grass or something. Now, where can I find a sponge at? Oh, that looks like a sponge. Don't forget to wash the grill, Cody. Okay. I'm going to check on Jeffy and see how he's doing. Ah, Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm doing great, Junior. I'm washing it so good that the paint's coming off. What? Squeaky clean. That's a brick. House. You know, like the song? She's a brick house. Look, Jeffy, you can't wash it with a brick stomach. Cody, come here. What's wrong, Junior? Look! Whoa, well, that, that, that is a problem. How'd that even happen? This is the only sponge that I could find. You used a brick? House. And we damaged the car, Cody! Junior, the guy's not gonna pay us $1,000 for this. So what do we do? Okay, I have an idea. I say we get out of here. Cody, come back! Do I keep washing it or not? No, Jeffy, we have to go. Come on! Oh, Marvin, I clogged your toilet bad. Here, smell my fingers. Oh, God, oh, why does it smell like that? Because when I was wiping, my finger broke through the toilet paper and went in my ass crack. So that's what you just smelled. Oh, why didn't you wash your hands? Because you don't have any soap. So maybe tonight after you give me your house payment, you invest in some soap. Oh, okay, just, I, I know, just come back later. All right, I'll be back tonight. And if you don't have your house payment, you know what will happen to your banana. What about bananas? Uh, listen, baby, you don't want to know. What the hell? Why is there soap on my car? Did someone try washing my car and they didn't even finish? What the fuck? Did someone try washing my car with a brick? Marvin! Daddy, washing cars is hard. Why? What happened? Because there's so many different types of sponges, I don't know which one to use. I get confused. What are you talking about? Oh, hold on. 
Hello? You pull your pants down! It's coming off! Well, you said I had to the end of the day! Not anymore! Not after what you did to my car! What did I do to your car? Come here! This! Well, I didn't do that! I know you didn't do it, but your son did! How do you know he did it? Because he left me a bill. Car wash bill, $1,000 owed to Jeffy. Well, I, I, it wasn't me who did it. it was I don't give a fuck. You got to get me your house payment and the money to fix my car by the end of the day, or y you know what happened to the banana. Oh, oh, oh okay, I'll try it. Jeffy! Jeffy! You damaged Gibbons' car by washing it? Mm -hmm. Well, why would you do that, Jeffy? Ah! What? No, Jeffy, why did you do that? Dad, I told you, sponges are hard. No, they're not hard, Jeffy. They're supposed to be soft and squishy, and they, and they wash things. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Jeffy, you owe me $5,000 by tonight, or get out of the house. Marvin, that's not a realistic amount of money Jeffy can get to you by tonight. Oh, Mommy, I understand. I screwed up big time. Yes, you did, Mr. Dad. You go get me that money now. All right, Daddy, I'll get you that money, even if I have to swing leg. Go! Well, washing cars was a bad idea. I can't believe Jeffy used a brick. Wait, Jeffy used a brick? Wait, Joseph, why weren't you outside washing cars with us? Because I don't do manual labor, dude. My people suffered enough. I'm enjoying my freedom. So, Cody, how are we going to get $100 to buy more robots? Junior, I don't think we should try to raise any more money. We've done enough damage. Hey, guys, my daddy said I need to raise $5,000 by tonight or he's going to kick me out of the house. But that's not even possible. Well, Cody, did you not hear what Jeffy just said? If he doesn't get $5,000 by tonight, he's going to be homeless. Well, Junior, that's not possible. And also, he damaged that car. I mean, it's not our problem. We were trying to wash it. But, Cody, friends stick together. we got to help our friends. Yeah! So we have to help Jeffy get the $5,000. Well, how are we going to do that, Junior? Um, hold on. Let me think. I'm going to be like Jimmy Neutron. Think. 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 Ugh, who's at the door ruining my brain blast? Come on, Cody. Let's answer the door. Hello? Hi, Junior. Do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? We have s'mores. A mint cookie? No, Penelope. We don't want to buy stupid, dumb Girl Scout cookies. We need money ourselves. We're not going to waste it on cookies. Damn, Junior. You could have just said no. Well, actually, I, I will take some of those mint cookies. Aw, thanks, Cody. Here your mint cookies, stink breath. Bye. Okay, that was rude. Cody, why would you buy cookies? Well, I'm sorry, but now my feelings are hurt. Cody, if you have money for cookies, why don't you give it for Jeff? He needs $5,000. It was only $10, Junior. Cody, oh my god, we need money. Wait a minute. Buying those cookies just gave me an idea. Oh, yeah, we should probably... We should beat up those girls for the money. What? No, I thought you were going to say we should sell cookies. What? No, selling cookies is hard. Beating up girls is easy. Chris Brown does it. What? Chris Brown doesn't beat people up for money. He doesn't? What? No. Then why does he do it? Because he's an asshole. Oh, so you're saying we should sell Girl Scout cookies? Yes, that would be much easier. All right, let's go tell the other guys. Guys, guys, guys! Me and Cody found the fastest way to make $5,000. Well, I wouldn't say it's the fastest way to make $5,000. Me and Cody found the best way to make $5,000. I definitely wouldn't say it's the best way either. We found a way to make $5,000. Over time, yes. All right, guys, so we were at the door, and these Girl Scouts showed up and said, you want to buy some cookies? And Cody gave them $10 for no reason. Well, I did get cookies. So, guys, I was thinking we could sell cookies, and we could make $5,000. That's a good idea, Junior. Yeah, that's a dope idea, dude. Junior, we're not going to make $5,000 just from selling cookies, and we have to do it today. Well, Cody, we're going to sell this one box of cookies for $5,000. Junior, that's insane. No one's going to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Yes, they will. If we tell them that there's a possibility that there's $10,000 inside it, they'll pay $5,000 for it. That's a pretty big gamble, Junior. I don't think anyone's going to do that. Yes, they will, because if we tell them that there's $10,000 in that box, they're going to say, hmm, I could double my money if I give them $5,000. Okay, Junior, I want you to think about this. First, we have to find somebody who has $5,000 in cash on them, which is pretty rare in this economy, and they also have to be dumb enough to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Cody, anything's possible. We landed on the moon. We're humans. We have thumbs. If caterpillars were trying to do this, I would say it's impossible, but we can make it happen. I, I will agree with you that caterpillars couldn't do this. All right, so guys, we have to find some Girl Scout outfits. Oh, I actually have some from role-playing with Ken. Okay, so you go get those outfits. Someone's gonna believe there's $10,000 in that box. Wait, there's $10,000 in that box, dude? See, Cody, someone will believe it. Let's go, guys! Okay. Okay, guys, this is the first house, and I feel like we're gonna get the $5,000. Hello? Hey, we're trying to sell Girl Scout cookies. But you guys aren't girls. Uh, oh, I forgot. Anybody can be a girl these days. Yeah, I'd love some Girl Scout cookies. Well, all we have is the mint cookie flavor. Oh, that's great. That's my favorite kind. Uh, what's that, like 10 bucks? Uh, hold on. Do you have change for 100? Uh, yeah, we have change for 100. Okay. Take this and run. Wait, wait, where's he going with my money? Oh, he's going to go get change from the car. I, I don't see a car. Oh, it's parked way down the street. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but while we, while we wait, I have an amazing opportunity for you, sir. Uh, okay, I'd like to hear it. What if I told you that there's $10,000 in this box of cookies? 
I wouldn't believe you. Well, if you give us $5,000, you'll have a chance to open up this box to see if there's $10,000 in it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That sounds like a terrible deal. Well, well do you have $5,000 anywhere in the house? No, no, I don't think I do. Oh. Is that, is that kid going to come back with my money? Run! What? Hey, hey, you bastards, get back here! Shit, honey, shit. What's wrong, Boydie? Well, these kids came to the door dressed like Girl Scouts, and they scammed me out of $100. I should have known something was fishy when they weren't girls. Aw, Boydie, you know kids will be kids. No, honey, they committed a felony. Well, did you at least get the cookies? No. God, I'm so, I'm so pissed. <sighs> Well, guys, we got $100. Yeah, we just need 4900 to go. Well, we only have to go to 49 more houses, Cody. Well, yeah, and we have to hope that everybody gives us $100 and asks for change, and then we run off every time. Stop being a negative Nancy, Cody. That's my mommy's name. Wait, wait, dude, you got 100 bucks? Sick. Wait, Joseph, why weren't you trying to sell cookies with us? Because I told you I'm not doing manual labor, dude. Well, technically, guys, we did get the $100 we needed to buy more robots. I mean, yeah, that's true. We could just buy more robots. I mean, it's up to you, Jeffy. Do you want to buy the robots or go to 49 more houses? Hmm. Okay, guys, let's fight with our robots. Yeah, we're two bad bitches. But you're no match for my boss. All right, guys, let's fight. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my God. We're kicking your ass. My dish is beating up your boss. Oh, no, uh, my boss is kicking your bitch ass. No, it isn't. It's my bitch is bitch in your boss. Marvin, why are you biting your nails? Because I'm worried that Jeffy's not gonna get the money in time. So you don't have the money. Oh, Goodman! Good thing I brought the scissors. What are the scissors for? Oh, he didn't tell you? Oh, Pooby! Banana me! Hey, what's up? Do you mind peeling that banana for me, Pooby? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, what's the banana for? Oh, you'll see. The banana represents Marvin's wiener. Oh, it's not that big. And since he doesn't have my house payment... <laughs> graphic, I know. Hey, you gonna finish this banana? No, Pooby, you can have it. Oh, thank you. So you guys watching the video, just know every time you are watching a video, Pooby is behind the couch eating a banana. So go ahead and like the video. For every like that you give us, that's another banana for Pooby. So Marvin, since you don't have my money, whip it out. Uh, Jeffy might have the money. L let me go check. Get up on his ass. Take oh, that, you no, no, no. Hey, Jeffy, where's my money? Oh, I gave up on now. We're playing with robots. Oh, Jeffy, you owe me five thousand. Come on. Okay, Goodman, look, it's Jeffy's fault. He's the one that destroyed your car. So if anyone should get their banana snipped, it's him. Marvin! Baby, my, my, my wiener. It's not like we use it. Well, Marvin, I have a special punishment for Jeffy. Come with me. Is this your car? Yep. Is this the brick that you use to wash my car? Watch like it. Well, I'm going to wash your car. <laughs> Don't you ever touch my car again! Ooh, Marvin, what do you think he's doing to Jeffy? I don't know, baby, but I'm worried about my wiener. I don't want it to get snipped off. <gasps> his scissors. Ooh, baby, hide his scissors. Oh, okay. All right, Marvin, I just punished Jeffy. I threw a brick at his car. Now we're even. Now for you, young man, you didn't pay your house payment. So now I'm going to snip off your wiener. Wait a minute. Where, where are my wiener snipping scissors? I left them right here. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't seen them. Well, I can't snip wieners without my wiener snipping scissors. And I can't just use a regular pair of scissors. Darn, Marvin. I guess it's your lucky day. I guess I'm just gonna have to punch you in the dick instead. Oh, oh, oh my god! And you bet your dick I'm gonna order me a new pair of wiener snipping scissors, and then next month, when you don't have your house payment, I'm gonna snip your wiener clean off your body. You know what? Better yet, I'm gonna snip it long way so it looks like a snake tongue. Oh, uh, well, I guess is the best outcome that could have happened today. Christmas is only a few days away. Oh, dude, I can't wait to open presents. Well, guys, it's time for me to light my candles. Well, Cody, your birthday's not till February. Yeah, dude, stop being greedy. It's about Christmas. Well, it's not for my birthday. So what's it for, dude? Hanukkah. Don't say that. What is that for? Hanukkah. Dude, I'm about to beat him up right now. You hear him? Hey, Joseph, don't do it. What, what are you so mad about? Dude, out of all things you could have said, hey, Joseph, say that again? Or I couldn't hear you. Could you repeat yourself? But you chose to say, huh? No. No, 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 that's not what I said. I, I said Hanukkah. Bro, I'm about to beat him up. Hold me back, hold me back. C Cody, can you stop saying that? What? No, it's a holiday. Okay, fine. You know what? We're not gonna, we're not gonna do Hanukkah today. I'll, I'll just celebrate Christmas. Yeah, you better. Yeah, it's Jesus' birthday, not your birthday, Cody. Wait, what? That's not... God, you guys are stupid. There's someone at the door. Cody, answer, answer the door with me, Cody. Wait, okay. I'll stay here, I guess. All right, Cody, you really need to calm down with those slurs against Joseph. Wait, it's not a slur. It's a holiday. Just please calm down. Hello? Ho, 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 man! Christmas! Santa Claus! What are you doing here? 
okay. I have a problem, boys. Rudolph ran away. Rudolph ran away? But who's gonna guide your sleigh on Christmas night? That's the issue. I can't ride my sleigh without Rudolph's red nose lighting up the sky. I could run into a building. And that'd be really bad in New York City. Exactly. So I need you boys to go find him, and I'll give you anything you want for Christmas if you do. Anything we want? Anything. <gasps> Come on, Cody. We have to go find Rudolph. Hurry, boys. Hurry. Chase him. Chase him. Santa Claus at the door. Oh, Santa. Santa. Oh, did he bring presents? No, he didn't bring presents. Santa Claus came to tell us that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ran away. Wait, why would he run away? Maybe he got tired of people laughing and calling him names. Why don't you run away when we laugh and call you names? I've thought about it. All right, Joseph. Santa Claus said if we find Rudolph, he'll give us anything we want. <gasps> Jenny, don't you think it's weird that of all the billions of people in the world, he chose us to help him? Santa Claus knows we're the smartest kids in the world, Cody. Junior, we're definitely not the smartest kids in the world. Then why else would he choose us? He can see us when we're sleeping, he knows when we're awake, he obviously knows we're smart enough to find Rudolph. If he can see us, he knows we're dumb. Oh, come on, Joseph, you know we can find Rudolph, right? Of course, dude! Yes, we can! Okay, where should we start looking for Rudolph? Outside? What? Oh, no, it's oh. cold outside. It's freezing outside. Wait, dude. Well, then we're not going to find him then. Rudolph could be in my house. Junior, he's not in your house. You know that for a fact? Yes. Okay, well, if you have a Rudolph tracker, then tell us where he's at. Junior, if you had a giant reindeer with a glowing red nose in your house, you'd know. Okay, okay, well, if you know where Rudolph isn't, then where is he? I don't know, but he's not here. Then shut up if you don't know where he's at. We're trying to think. Yeah, you useless, dude. Okay, you know what? It's actually going to be really hard to find Rudolph because the world is like, what, a billion miles long? So, the best option for us to do is to go to an animal shelter, adopt a dog, put a red nose on him and antlers, and then give it to Santa and say that's Rudolph. Oh, dude, that's a nice plan! Junior, I, I think he wants the real Rudolph that can fly. No, 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 he just wants it for show. So as long as we give him something that looks like Rudolph, we'll get anything we want, oh. and we save Christmas. But, Junior, we'd be lying to Santa. <sighs> I lie to everyone, Cody. Santa doesn't make, make an exception. I can lie to him, too. Yeah. It seems wrong. Uh, okay, well, you know what's wrong? You trying to celebrate your birthday on Jesus' birthday. Yeah, and then throw an insult at me. Well, no, it's... Okay, fine. Let's do your stupid plan. All right, let's go to the dog shelter. <laughs> oh, man. Santa Claus is going to love the new Rudolph. Well, at the pound, his name was Gizmo, and he was about to be put down for old age. Oh, he's a cute little mutt. Ah! Oh, you must not know Michael fix my uncle! Joseph, calm down. Oh, he's asking for it, dude! Listen, he's just an old sick dog. <coughs> but did he just cough? I've never even heard a dog do that before. Well, listen, I need you to smell his butt. What? Why? I need you to smell his stink hole to see if it's stinky. Junior, it's called a stink hole. I'm pretty sure it's stinky. Well, listen, I ha you have to make sure it's not stinky because he's going to be in front of all the other reindeer, and no reindeer wants to smell a reindeer's butt that's dirty. What, Junior, this, this old sick dog is not going to lead a sleigh. What, smell it. I... <sighs> Yep, that's a dog's ass. Well, that's how they say hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello, Gizmo. <coughs> Junior, oh. this dog is going to die. Listen, listen, listen. Santa Claus is going to be super happy that he's going to lead his sleigh. Now we just have to tell Santa Claus that we found Rudolph. But how are we going to do that? He didn't leave us his number or anything. The only way you can get a hold of Santa Claus is sing Santa Claus songs. Santa Claus what? is coming to what? town. What, nigga? Santa Claus oh. is coming yeah. to town. What, bitch? Santa Claus yeah. is yeah. coming to town. To town. Oh. Come your west of my town. What? But the, he's at the door. Yeah, that's how you get him. I can't believe that worked. Hello? Oh, ho, ho. have you boys found Rudolph yet? Yeah, Rudolph's right here. Bert, Rudolph, come here, boy. Don't you ever do that again! So Santa, are you gonna grant us our Christmas wishes? Well, once I deliver everyone else's presents, I'll come right back here and grant all your wishes! You promise? Y yeah, sure! Alright guys, let's go wait for him to deliver all the presents. Okay, dude. Guys, I can't believe Santa's gonna give us whatever we want! Why did he run away like that? Because he's in a rush, Cody. Yeah, he has to deliver presents, dude. Well, not for a few days. Well, he has to go all the way back to the North Pole. We're in Florida. It's a long drive. Yeah, he's trying to get ahead of schedule. <laughs> the news is on. Breaking news, okay? The real Santa Claus has died in a freak sleigh crash because Rudolph was just a dog with a red nose painted on him and the sleigh could not fly. Truly tragic. Yeah! Junior, we killed Santa Claus! What do you mean, we? Well, he was looking for Rudolph, and instead we gave him a sick dog that couldn't fly, so he crashed. Well, well, a plane can still fly with one engine. But, okay, so? So, his sleigh has nine reindeer, so if one reindeer goes missing, it should still be able to fly. I think George Bush did it. Mm-hmm. Inside job, dude. Well, either way, Santa's dead and Christmas is ruined. What? No Christmas? No family? No family, Joseph. <laughs> What are we gonna do, Cody? Since Christmas is ruined. Well, I still have my menorah.
We're not going to celebrate your birthday, Cody. It's not a birthday thing. Then why are there candles? Well, it's... Uh, fine, fine. We won't do this. Hey! What? Who are you? I think that's an elf, Junior. You guys killed Santa! No, we didn't. Yes, you did. You gave Santa a fake Rudolph and he crashed. Oops. No, oops. Now you have to be Santa and deliver all the presents. Well, that's impossible. Yeah, we can't do that. No, tonight you're going to do a test run and see how fast you can deliver presents to a house. It's going to be pretty slow. We don't know what we're doing. Yeah, because we're not Santa Claus. I'll give you Santa's magic. Now, which one wants to do it? Uh, I, I do not want to be Santa Claus. No, Cody, you got to be Santa Claus. You already have glasses like Santa. But you killed Santa, so you should be Santa. Well, you be Santa. No, you be Santa. Yeah, you be Santa. You be Santa. You be Santa. I don't want to die. There, now you have Santa's powers. What, Ken? Ken can't be Santa Claus, he's a doll. He's not a doll, Junior. I don't care. Now deliver this present to this address. I'll be watching you. Well, Cody, Ken can't be Santa Claus. Yes, he can, Junior. He's already a lawyer, astronaut, doctor, scientist for the NBA. He can be Santa Claus. Or should I call him Kenta Claus? Or Saint Kentilis? Or Ken Kringle? That's all I got. But Cody, we can't deliver this present because Ken has all the powers. Junior, I have an idea. They want us to deliver this present to test if we'd be a good Santa, right? So how about we just do a really bad job delivering this present and then we don't have to be Santa and we don't have to worry about this. You're right, Cody. If we do a really bad job being Santa, they'll be like, we don't want you being Santa and they'll give the powers to someone else. Yeah, and it shouldn't be hard to screw this up. Yeah, let's go screw up being Santa Claus. Uh, come on, Kenta Claus. Let's go to this house. All right, Junior, this is the house. Okay, so how do we get in? Do you see a chimney? I'm not getting on the roof. But we're supposed to be like Santa Claus. But we're also supposed to suck, remember? Aren't you good at sucking? Well, yeah, but not at this. Okay, let, let's just go through the front door. Well, Junior, we can't just walk into their house. But let's get the doors unlocked. Well, it's not gonna be unlocked. What? what? Uh, it is unlocked. Wow, okay. Let's go. All right, Junior, deliver the present. Yeah, that's good. Oh, 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 Boy, I hear noises. Yeah, well, maybe it's you snoring. No. I hear noises! You know what? It might be my stomach growling because you burned dinner and I didn't get to eat. Boydie, it's coming from the living room! Yeah, well, maybe somebody broke in and they'll kill me. Wouldn't that be nice? Boydie, you have to get up and go check! I'm not getting up until I hear something. Cody, I really feel like we should make like a huge mess so we can suck at being Santa. But we don't want them calling the cops. Let's just go. No, 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 no. We have to do a really bad job of being Santa, and Santa would not make a mess, right? I mean, I guess that's true. Let's watch. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God, Junior, what the hell is wrong with you? What? Uh, okay, okay, I heard that. Uh, all right, I'll get up. I'll check. Let's see what that noise was. What What the hell? What happened to my tree? But, hey! Hey, you goons! Get the hell out of my house! Run, Cody, run! Yeah, you better run! Ugh, I'm so mad. What was that noise, Boiny? Two goons broke into our house and knocked over our Christmas tree. Did they steal anything? No, because I chased them off, but I'm pretty sure I know who it was, and I'm gonna go give them a stern talking to. Okay, we delivered the present. Yeah, there's no way we get hired as Santa now. What the hell was that? Did you even try? That was us trying. Santa's supposed to be quiet and go down chimneys. Listen, lady, I don't know what to tell you. We're just bad at being Santa. Find somebody else. Well, someone has to be Santa. There you are, you goons. You broke into my house. Hey, you can't just come into our house without asking. Oh, like you did in my house and you knocked over my Christmas tree? You! You can be Santa! Oh, no, 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 no. I I, I don't want to be Tim Allen. I, I don't have time for those kind of shenanigans. Well, someone has to be Santa! Giving news. Breaking news, okay? The real Santa Claus is not dead. The Santa that died earlier today was just a guy dressed up as Santa Claus and rode a sleigh off of his roof with a dog that looked like Rudolph. Wait, Santa Claus isn't dead? Well, I guess I can take these off. Oh, can I have those? I'm still pretty pissed off. Sure, here you go. You need to stick them on there. Oh, I'm so mad you guys broke into my house and knocked over my Christmas tree. You don't, you don't look mad at all. I don't. I, I am mad, I promise. Uh, can you come fix his eyebrows? Yes. You look like you have a question. I need to better convey my anger. Here, hold on. Yes. Hold still. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just so mad. Let me see. Am I mad now? Yeah, 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 you seem pretty mad. I'm really mad you guys knocked over my tree and broke into my house. Well, listen, we're really sorry. We won't do it again. We were just trying to be Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, you're sorry, huh? Well, let me let, let me nibble that ear. What? What? <laughs> let, me, let me nibble. Let me nibble that ear. Okay. <laughs> there, that's what you get. Now, never do it again or I'll nibble your other ear. Okay, well, Junior, I guess Santa's not really dead, so that, that everything worked out. Wow, today was a crazy day. Yeah. I have a question, Cody. Okay. What happened to your free medium french fries you get from McDonald's every week? You haven't been eating them. Oh, I still get them. I mean, I don't always eat them here, but, like, I get them. Like, I eat them at home, like, in bed and stuff. Well, everyone's been upset that you haven't been eating them. Well, all right, fine. You know what? Here, 
Here you go. Here's my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. There you go. You happy? Eat one. Okay. There. I'm doing it. Doing the thing. You happy? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Well, a few days before Christmas. Yeah. What's a Hertz donut? Ow! Hertz donut? Jeffy, that wasn't very nice. Obviously, you didn't get the joke. I said, you want a Hertz donut? And then I threw it at him and said, Hertz donut? Oh, like the donut hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny anymore. Wait, what's that noise? Oh, great! What's wrong, Marvin? Look at Booger. Oh, he's pissing. Oh, he ran away pissing. Oh, wow. Oh, you scared him. No, Booger needs to get neutered. Is that really necessary? Yes, because if we neuter him, he won't pee anymore. What's neutered mean? It's when they grab your balls. Booger! Oh, they grab your balls? I want to be neutered. No, Jeffy. Look, baby, can you please put Booger in his cage or take him to the vet? Aw, but he hates it in there. Put him in the cage, baby. Okay. Jeffy, you stay right here. I want to be neutered. Booger, pizza. <laughs> okay, go get it. <laughs> Oh, Booger, I'm so sorry. Marvin, Booger's ready. Oh, Booger, you're stuck in the cage? Well, I've never been neutered before, so I'm gonna let you out. Be free, Booger. I'm gonna get my balls touched. Oh, there's pizza in here. All right, Booger, it's time to go to the vet and get neutered. Oh, man. Oh, dinosaurs are heavy. Oh. Hey, welcome to the vet's office. Please identify yourself, because I can't see. It's me, Marvin. Oh, hey, Marvin, what's up? Well, why can't you see? Oh, I just got LASIK eye surgery this morning, so I can't see anything right now. But in a few hours, when my eyes heal up, oh, my vision's going to be perfect. It's going to be 2020. Hopefully not like the year. Well, I brought my pet dinosaur to get neutered. What, really? A pet dinosaur? Oh, that's awesome. I've never gotten a chance to neuter a dinosaur before. This is exciting. I'll get started right now. Wait, wait, wait shouldn't you wait for your eyes to heal? No, 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 no. I've neutered so many animals, I can do this with my eyes closed, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. All right, well, just let me know when you're done. Uh, hey, do you want to keep them? Keep what? The balls. Like, do you want to keep them in a jar or something? Well, no, I don't want to keep the balls. Okay, well, I'm going to keep them. I mean, the dinosaur balls. That's awesome. I'm keeping those. All right, well, just let me know when you're done. Okay, yeah, I'll call you or, or just bring them by. Okay, then I'll see you later. What? See? Oh, I get it. Like, it, like LASIK. Like, see. See, I, I thought you meant see, like, like the ocean. What? Yeah, that didn't make any sense. But I get it now, so it's funny. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. All right, come here, Mr. Dinosaur. Show me those balls. All right, baby, I just dropped Booger off at the vet. Marvin, I think it's cruel to neuter animals. Baby, he was peeing on the rug. This is the only way to get him to stop. Will it? Booger, stop it. You're not eating a donut. Booger! Marvin, I thought you said he was at the vet. He is. I just dropped him off. Well, maybe it's a girl and they couldn't neuter him. Well, no, no. Brooklyn guy said he would drop the dinosaur off when he was done. So maybe he's already done. Let me call the vet real quick. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, this is the vet's office. Can you identify yourself? I can't see my caller ID. It's me, Marvin. Oh, hey, Marvin. I just finished neutering a dinosaur. It went great. Is that why you dropped him off? What? Dropped him off? No, he's still here. No, he's right next to me. Well, that's impossible because he's right next to me. Are you, are you sure it's a dinosaur? Like, can you see him? Well, no, but I can touch him. Like, I just touched him. He's here. What? Well, my dinosaur's right next to me. Oh, well, do you have two dinosaurs? Because if you do, I'll neuter both of them. You know, buy one, get one. Oh, baby, are you sure the dinosaur you put in the cage was Booger? Yes, Marvin. Like he was green? Yes, Marvin. Are you sure he was green? What? Yes. <sighs> Doggy, get in here. What you want, Ma Bibs? Did you call me in here so you could give me some money? No, Dougie, I just want to make sure your balls were okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so both my dinosaurs are here. Well, you must have a third one, because I definitely have a dinosaur here. Wait, so there's a third dinosaur, and you neutered it? Yeah, it went fine. I, I mean, I will say I didn't keep his balls. They were a little too human-like. Kind of freaked me out, so I threw him in the ball pit. Like, we have this ball pit where we throw all the animal balls when we're done with them. It's pretty gross. And actually, now that you mention it, he did scream a lot in English. Dinosaurs are weird. Okay, can you please bring that dinosaur over to my house so we can see what you're talking about? Yeah, sure, I'll drive right over there. Are you sure you're okay to drive with your vision? Oh, yeah, I've been there so many times I can drive there with my eyes closed. Uh, okay, this doesn't make any sense, baby. Marvin, where's Jeffy? Uh, he's probably in his room. Jeffy, get in here! Jeffy! Did you hear that? The vet must be here. Hello? Am I in the right house? Yeah, right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. See, I told you I could make it, and you thought I couldn't drive here. Where'd you park? In your driveway. Did you hit my car? I hit something, but hey, look, I brought you dinosaur. Dinosaur, get in here. I look like the lamp from Pixar. Jeffy! 
Hey! You named your dinosaur Jeffy? That must get confusing. That's your son's name. You neutered my son! No, I neutered your dinosaur. Then take your glasses off and look! Oh, I don't know if my eyes have healed yet. <gasps> they did heal! Everything looks amazing! Uh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, shit, that's your son. Yeah, I guess I did neuter him. Wait, why'd you neuter him? Well, look, it makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, yeah, I guess his balls were pretty human-like, and he did scream when I cut him, and he even said, hey, don't neuter me, I'm a human, not a dinosaur. But I thought the dinosaur was trying to trick me, so I was like, you can't trick me, dinosaur, so I snipped him anyway. I can't believe you neutered my son! Well, it's not my fault, it's your fault, because you put him in the cage! No, it's your fault, you put him in the cage! No! put Booger in a cage! Jeffy, how'd you get in the cage? Well, I saw Booger in the cage, and then I let him out so I could get in the cage because I wanted to know what neuter was. See? See, it's his fault, not mine. See, everybody hear that? I'm not liable. You can't sue me. Okay, can we put his balls back on him? I don't think you understand. His balls are in the ball pit. I mean, do you really want to dive into a 10,000 square foot pit of animal balls? I mean, there's cat balls, dog balls, donkey balls, fish balls, raccoon balls, just wall-to-wall -wall balls. Okay, well, can we find his balls? Well, even if we could find his balls, we can't put them back on. You can't use tape? No. Why do you guys keep all those balls. And we grind them up to make baloney. That's why it's called ball -oney. Hey, we sell some. You want it? But I don't want any ball -o -o. I don't want baloney. His balls might be in there. I, I don't want to get out of here. Well, it's got chicken balls, pork balls, and beef balls. No, listen, listen. Jeffy, how are you feeling? Well, I've been better, Daddy. Ow, 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 I, 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 I wouldn't, ow, ow, ow. I wouldn't do that. See, he's not in too much pain because he's on pain meds, but don't worry, those will wear off. Okay, so, like, what do we do now? Well, I mean, there's nothing more for me to do, but, I mean, if he's in too much pain, you can call me, and you probably will be calling me. Oh, man, Jeffy, are you okay? Danny, why do I gotta wear this cone on my head? So you don't lick your balls. How'd you know I was doing that? What? Is there a camera in my room? What? No, Jeffy, how are you feeling? Worried. Because how long has that camera been in my room? And what else have you seen me lick? There's no camera in your room, Jeffy. I'm going to go look for the camera in my room. What, well, no, Jeffy, there's no camera. Oh, man, I can't believe this happened to Jeffy. Where is it? Where is it? Where is that stupid camera? Hey, Jeffy. Daddy, this is an invasion of my privacy because you have a camera in my room. There's no camera, Jeffy. Then why the cone? Listen, earlier today, we wanted to take your pet dinosaur to the vet to get his balls chopped off. What? Because he wouldn't stop peeing on the rug. Pee comes from your balls? No. Well, then why get his balls chopped off? Listen, Jeffy, the main point is you got your balls chopped off today. I did? Yeah. Hurts, don't it? Marvin! Well, he did that earlier to me, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to make the joke. No, Marvin! Listen, so that's why it hurts when you hit your diaper. Oh, I thought it hurts just because I beat it all the time. Ow, 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 no, ow, no, no, ow, the, ow. Doctor, the doctor said don't do that because you're going to irritate it. So look, Jeffy, after school tomorrow, we're going to make it up to you. We're going to take you to Chuck E. Cheese, and you can eat pizza or play games. You can't do both because we're on a budget. We're balling on a budget. Marvin, stop it. You can play skee ball. Or basketball. Marvin. Or playing the ball pit. Stop it! Okay, those are all my ball jokes. Listen, Jeffy, you're missing your balls, and tomorrow we're gonna make it up to you after school. So just go to bed, and tomorrow we'll have a fun day, okay? Okay, Daddy, but real quick, if I throw up in this thing, will I drown? No, Jeffy, just lean forward, it'll spill out. If I go outside and it starts raining or snowing, will I drown? No, th there's holes in the thing, Jeffy. It, 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 look, you're not gonna drown. Go to bed. All right, Daddy. All right, class, today we're going to be learning about the North Atlantic right whale. Oh, we're learning about my mom today because she's a big, fat whale, right? She's the biggest animal on the whole planet. Cody, why would you talk about your mom like that? Well, I was just beating you guys to it because I know you're going to say it. I would never say your mom is fat. Oh, shut up. I'm going to tell your mom you called her fat. Please don't. The North Atlantic right whale is known to have the biggest balls of any animal in the world. Nuts big as shit! <laughs> I didn't know I was a North Atlantic right whale, because <laughs> my balls are huge. Or because you're fat like your mom. Ha <laughs> ha, conehead. Don't call me names. <laughs> hey, satellite dish head. I said, leave me alone. <laughs> Megaphone head. I will allow you to call me one more name as long as it's hilarious. <laughs> Upside down lampshade head. That was lame. Hey, can you look up a little more? What, like this? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Trash can head. Oh, you did it now. <laughs> Jeffy boy, no fighting! You're going to the principal's office right now! Hey, Danny, I got suspended from school today. For what? For beating up this kid because he was making fun of my cone hat. What did he say? Well, you see this paper ball in here? He threw it in here and now I can't get it out. Hey, I was playing with that. Jeffy, you are grounded for getting suspended from school. Well, what about Chuck E. Cheese? You're grounded, so you can't go to Chuck E. Cheese. Damn. Well, I'm hungry. Well, go downstairs and get something to eat. How? I can't even reach my mouth. Jeffy, just go figure it out. Okay.
I can't believe you got suspended. Hey guys, can you help me pour some milk? Jeffy! What? What are you wasting all the Cheerios for? Well, you told me to figure it out. This is the best I can come up with. No, Jeffy, you go pour those Cheerios out because you're wasting them. Okay. Put them out of my system. Jeffy! Hey, you hit my eyeball off. <laughs> go clean yourself up. Oh, baby, it's gonna take forever to clean this mess up. What about Jiffy's eye? Danny, you've been really mean to me ever since I apparently got my balls cut off. You did get your balls cut off, Jeffy. Did I? You did, right? I don't know, I haven't been able to lick them because it is cone. Hey, hey everybody, I didn't really cut Jeffy's balls off. What? Yeah, I was checking the security camera footage at the vet's office because I was gonna sell it to like a gore website or something, and then I saw it really happened. Well, what really happened? Calm down, baby birds, I'll feed you. Just watch this flashback. All right, dinosaur, show me those balls. I'm gonna cut them off. But I'm a human! No, you're not gonna trick me, dinosaur. Give me those balls. Here they are. Oh, no, you're cutting my balls. Ball. You're cutting my balls. Ooh, they smell really good. Mm, I'm gonna try this. So you didn't cut Jeffy's balls off? Oh, no, I was cutting pizza. Oh, well, earlier you said you felt something that felt like human balls. Yeah, that was the pizza. It was really soggy. It felt like human balls, and I ate it. What? <laughs> Yeah, I ate it, because, okay, listen, I, I, I thought to myself, when am I going to get another chance to eat dinosaur balls, right? So I had to try it, and then it tasted like pepperoni pizza. So I thought to myself, this is why the dinosaurs must have gone extinct. It's because their balls tasted like pepperoni pizza, and people kept eating their balls, and then they couldn't have any more babies. But then I lied to you guys, because I didn't want you to know that I ate dinosaur balls, and then I thought I ate your son's balls, and that was even worse, so I couldn't tell you that. But it turned out it was pizza, so it's okay. But you ate it thinking it was balls. Yeah, yeah, but it's pizza, so everything's fine. But it was, you thought it was balls. Look, when... man, we don't have to obsess about it. I ate pizza, he still has his balls, everything's good. I still have my balls? Yep, you sure do. So I can take the cone off? Yeah, go ahead. How do I do that? Oh, it's, it's like those little, like, those little knobs, like, behind your head there. Yeah, this, you got it, it's that one. Okay, I, no, that, I, I think, I think that one's okay. You got, uh, yeah, there's, there's three of them, so. Yeah, you got it. Just one more. Just turn it. Yeah! I'm free! <laughs> Jeffy, come look! All the presents are under the Christmas tree! Are all these presents for me? They sure are, buddy. <laughs> How many all that? Um, 36? 36? Well, last year I got 37! I want two new presents! But, Jeffy, these presents are already so big! I don't care how big they are! Well, listen, this is what we'll do. When we go out, we'll buy you two new presents. How's that, pumpkin? Can you guys please stop quoting Harry Potter? Sorry, Marvin. So you guys got me all these presents? Yes, we did, Jeffy. So then when Santa Claus comes, he's gonna bring me even more presents? Of what? course, Jeffy! Yay! Best Christmas ever! No, Jeffy, you're 18 years old. It's time for you to know. Marvin! What? But baby, we gotta rip this band-aid off. He's 18 years old. No, Marvin, stop it. What are you guys talking about? Um, what he was saying was that we got a letter from Santa and he told us that you're on the nice list. He did? Can I see the letter? Um, uh, uh when, when, you, when you read the letter, the words disappear. It has invisible ink on it. Well, then can I see the piece of paper? No! Uh, it, the, the paper blows up after you read it. Huh. Well, well, Danny, how does Santa Claus know what I want for Christmas? Because I never went and told him what I wanted. Oh, Santa knows what you want. He can hear what you're thinking. He knows when you're sleeping. You know the song. Well, how does he know that if I didn't tell him? I need you to take me so I can tell Santa Claus what I want for Christmas right now. No, Santa Claus is busy. It's Christmas Eve. He's getting his sleigh ready and he's yelling at his elves. He has a lot to do today. Well, he's at the mall so you can take me there right now and I can tell him. No, no, the mall is so packed on Christmas Eve. How about you write a letter and say what you want and we'll ship it to him. Well, if I write a letter it won't get there in time. Okay, how about you just tell us what you, what you want and we'll tell him we have his phone number. No! I want you to take me to the mall right now so I can tell Santa Claus what I want for Christmas! Oh, come on, Marvin. Let's oh. just go. Okay, fine. We'll go to the mall. Just hurry, get in the car. Hurry up. Oh. Okay, Jeffy, we made it. Hey, you here for pictures? Yes, we are here for pictures. All right, just have a seat. Say cheese. No, 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 we want pictures with Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Yeah, Santa Claus. Oh, we stopped doing that weeks ago, man. What, weeks ago? I don't get to see Santa Claus! What, what, what are we talking about? Well, it's the day before Christmas, man. All the Santas are at home with their family. <laughs> no, 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 Jeffy, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 come on, get, get the call up Santa Claus, like, you gotta have a Santa Claus around here somewhere. Sorry, man, all you have is me and this chair, and don't make fun of my costume, it's a child's large. Well, no, 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 legs, isn't that fun? I can dance. Oh, no, no, listen, 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 I just need you to, like, call up a Santa Claus, please, that's something you gotta do. Listen, Jeffy really wants to talk to Santa Claus. I mean, listen, man, I can, unless you, uh, unless you have money. What, money? Yeah, if you pay me, maybe I can find you a Santa Claus. Ugh. All I have is a hundred. Mm, okay, yeah, that'll that'll work. Uh, let me just call my buddy Tim. You guys just go hang out at Cinnabon or something. Oh, uh, Jeffy, come on! They're they're getting Santa Claus. We have to wait over here. Okay. You better pay me good. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry it's so last minute. I was sitting on my couch eating potato chips. Yeah, I know. I know how much you love your chips. I'm sorry. It'll be real quick. I promise. Yeah, they were laser sorted. That sounds great. Just just put your beard on. Get ready. Over. Okay, we're ready for the next kid. Okay, Jeffy, there's Santa Claus. Santa Claus! Ho, 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 and what's your name, young man? <laughs> Jeffy, tell him your name. Uh -huh. uh, come here, boy. Take a seat. Okay. And what do you want for Christmas? I have to whisper it to you. Okay. I want... Oh, don't, oh, don't yell at oh. Santa, please. Jeffy, whisper it. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. How about... How about we just give you a candy cane? Are you going to get it for me? Santa will do his best. I want your beard. What? No, no, no. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. The imposter! What? No, Santa just shaved so he, he couldn't get his beard in time. Yeah, Jeffy, Jeffy, uh, that's the uh, real Santa. He just got uh, What did you do with the real Santa Claus, you imposter? Oh, come on, Jeffy, come on, Jeffy. I am the real Santa Claus. Oof. Ah! Oh, what a nightmare. Daddy, what did they do with the real Santa Claus? That was a fake Santa Claus. That Santa Claus smelled like Pepto-Bismol and bad decisions. Uh, Jeffy, listen. Look, that, that Santa Claus was a messenger Santa. So all the malls across America, they hire messenger Santas to find out what kids want, and then they tell the real Santa, right? Well, I want you to call Santa Claus because you said you had Santa Claus's phone number, so call him. Well, uh, he's busy. He call him. Uh, he's I, I, call I, him. I don't want to call him. Call mom. him. I don't want to call, call him. him. Santa Claus is the real. <laughs> What are you talking about, you bitch? Uh, Jeffy, Santa Claus, he's not real. You're 18 years old. It's time for you to know. <laughs> oh, are you gonna break everything in the kitchen? Uh, what, no, Jeff, no, Jeffy. Well, then how could you tell him that? Well, he's 18 years old. He's screaming at me. I, I don't know what to say to him anymore. Santa is real. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Ah! You Santa, you lying bitch. Ah! Ah! What, Jeffy? What's your point being good? This is real! You want to! Ah, I tried really hard! No, you don't! Ah. You don't try to be good, Jimmy! Marvin, we gotta do something! Uh, 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 I'm gonna call someone! Hey there, somebody call an elf? Yes, I need your help because you caused a problem in my life. But what did I do? Well, you had that stupid fake Santa Claus at the mall, and then when my son pulled his beard off, my son freaked out and cried, and then I told him Santa wasn't real because I didn't want him to cry anymore. Well, it sounds like it's your fault for telling him Santa's not real. No, it's your fault for hiring a crappy Santa. Well, I'm sorry I didn't have the real Santa at the mall on Christmas Eve. Well, can you call the real Santa? No, baby, because Santa's not Santa's real. Santa's way too busy today. What? Well, yes, yeah, Santa's very busy. It's Christmas Eve. He has to load up his sleigh and then deliver presents to the Republic of Kiribati or some shit. That, that's where the day first starts. I like your jingle bell. Thank you. Oh, okay, so you're telling me that you could actually get a hold of Santa Claus? No, I'm saying I can't because he's too busy. Well, then you have to find a way to get a hold of him. You're an elf. You can find a way to talk to him. You know I'm not really an elf, right? I just work at the mall and take pictures. Listen, can you please help me? My son's breaking uh, plates and screaming and crying. Please get a hold of Santa. What, what, what do you think we could do? Huh. Well, the only thing I can think of is we kidnapped the Tooth Fairy. What? The Tooth Fairy? Yeah, the Tooth Fairy is Santa Claus's daughter. Not a lot of people know that. Wait, she is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Santa and Mrs. Claus had a daughter, and they named her Tooth. So her name was Tooth Claus, and that was kind of scary, especially because she collected teeth, and she collected claws. Like, whenever cats got declawed, she would collect their claws and give them money. But they're cats, so they didn't need the money, so she stopped doing that. But anyway, they decided Tooth Claws was too scary, so they named her the Tooth Fairy, because that's a lot cuter. Okay, so you just created another problem. How do we get the Tooth Fairy here? Oh, that's easy. We just gotta put somebody's tooth under a pillow. Okay, well, I don't have any teeth. Me neither. Oh, I got one in my pocket. Hold on. There you go. Wh whose tooth is that? I don't know, some kid. Why do you have some kid's tooth in your pocket? Oh, well, I work at the mall, right, as an elf, so there's a lot of kids around. So this one kid ran up to me, and he was like, Elf boy, elf boy, and he kept throwing candy canes at me. And I was like, listen here, you little shit. If you don't knock it off, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth and knock your teeth out. And then he stomped on my foot, so I popped him in the mouth and knocked his tooth out, and he ran away crying. And I was like, now you're useless and toothless, you little bitch. So then I kept the tooth to warn anybody else who wants to mess with me that this used to be in someone's mouth until they met me. I'm him. I'm Himothy. Himmy Johns. Oh. Okay, so how do we get the Tooth Fairy here? Oh, that's easy. Where's your comfiest bed? Just put it under the pillow and I'll take a nap. Uh, come on. Okay. 
All right, here's the bed. Okay, so let's just take this tooth and then put it under the pillow, and then I can just tuck myself in. Do you have any warm milk? No! Okay, well, I don't know how I'm gonna sleep without any warm milk. Listen, we have to catch the tooth fairy. Okay, then hide, bro. I'm asleep. I sure am sleeping. I could for the tooth. Get him, Marvin. <laughs> Why? What, only a quarter for that tooth? You know what I had to do? I had to punch a kid. That's not your tooth. No, and now we're gonna kidnap you. Yeah. Well, oh shit. Well, where'd she go? I forgot she can poof. What? Well, she can poof? Oh, we had to kidnap her. Yeah. Hey, but look, we have a quarter, and we still have the tooth, so we win. She's dumb. Ha ha. Okay. How are we gonna get Santa Claus to come here then? I don't know. Let's just go back on the couch. Oh. <sighs> Marvin, where's the Tooth Fairy? We tried kidnapping her, but she poofed away. Yeah, but we got one of a quarters, though, so we robbed the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, we robbed the Tooth Fairy. You did what? Santa Claus? How long you been standing there? Long enough. How dare you try to kidnap my daughter on the eve of Christmas? No, 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 no. We weren't trying to kidnap your daughter. We were just trying to, uh, uh, take one of her quarters. Yeah, 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 because she, she has the best quarters. Like, th this one's 1972. That That's rare, I think. You can't lie to me. I'm Santa Claus. All knowing, I know when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. I know whether you've been bad or good. To be good, for goodness sake! Uh, well, Santa just tried to smash you. He did the smash. He did the Santa smash. He did the smash. It was a North Pole bash. He did the smash. He came in a flash. Ho, ho! <laughs> Not me. It was his idea. Get him. <laughs> uh. Fine, go back to the North Pole. I, I work at J.C. Penny. Go! Okay, I'm going. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! Sit up! Sit up! Can we please stop? Can we, can we work something out? Oh no! You're dead. What? You're so dead. Why? What, what does that even mean? Come here and find out. No, no, please. Hey, hey, Marvin, Marvin, I, I sucked this candy can until it was sharp. Maybe you can use it like as a weapon or something. Oh, he throw it to me. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just stab myself. Suck it! Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. Ah! Like, what did I do? Why? I feel so bad. Why? Sorry, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Well, you stabbed Sid in the neck. <laughs> Sid, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I got stabbed in the neck. I'm dying. This should have been you. Daddy? Is this really Santa Claus? Uh, yeah, and he's dying. <gasps> Santa Claus is dying? Can I get you anything, Santa Claus? Boy, yes. For my wish. For my dying wish. I would like some milk and cookies. Okay. Here's your cookie, Santa Claus. <laughs> what the milk, boy? Oh, okay. Milk. <laughs> I'm alive! And it's all thanks to you. How can I ever repay you? Well, there is something I want for Christmas. Name it! Whatever it is! <laughs> Done! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Danny, this pole smells like a Captain D's hush puppy. Jeffy, I can't believe you wasted your wish on a stripper. Well, she's a free stripper because I don't have to pay her. And Danny, guess what? There's something wrong with her underwear. What's wrong with it? They're not in my mouth. Oh my God, you're so funny. Well, Jeffy, at least you're having a good Christmas. Who wants a lap dance? Right here. Um, Danny, I'm going to need you to leave so she can give me the second part of my Christmas gift. I'm out of here. Well, I'm just glad I didn't kill Santa. Oh, man. I don't think I could have lived with myself. You know, and I was really worried that I would become Santa like Tim Allen did in that movie. I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility. That's a lot of work. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Merry Christmas. I hope you get what you wanted, and if you didn't, that's, that's life. That just happens sometimes. And at least we all have each other. Yeah. Today, you have a test today. So today, I'm gonna come around and pass out your test today, and you will take your test today, and then you will turn in your test that you took today, and I'll grade your test tomorrow. Wait, I'm confused. When is the test? Today. But we get our results... Tomorrow. Okay, thank you. I was very confused. All right, Jeffy, here's your test. I'm gonna fail this so hard, and here's your test today. Oh, I didn't study. All right, Kraus, you may begin your test today. And remember, no cheating. Oh, I don't know any of these answers. I can't fail. My mom is going to ground me. Oh, I'm going to try to Google the answers. Hey, Pouncer! <laughs>
Are you using your phone to cheat on the test? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. That's it! You fail! Go to the principal's office now! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, glass! He's having a seizure! Someone get the nurse! Oh my god, poor Patrick! Whoa, dude, that boy going bum! No, I think he's challenging us to a breakdancing competition. <laughs> oh, no way. I can break dance better than him. No, I can't. No, guys, he's having a seizure. <laughs> I bet his favorite pizza place is Little Seizures. <laughs> hey, knock it off. You're distracting me from my test. <laughs> Did someone call the nurse? Woo! 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 Fucking nurse. <laughs> All right, everybody, calm down. All right, you just calm down now. What happened? You just experienced a seizure. Now come with me to the nurse's office and we're gonna get you home. Oh, it must have been my low blood sugar. I have diabetes. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, Patrick, I hope you get better soon. I'll just go ahead and pass your test for today. All right, everyone, back to taking your test. No, wait just a goddamn second. This kid gets to act like a bag of shake em up fries from Burger King and gets an A on his test, and I'm over here scratching my balls trying to figure out why there's letters in math! I passed him on his test because he had a medical emergency. He couldn't help it. Okay, that makes sense. Well, if he can do it, so can I. Teacher, I don't feel so good! <laughs> oh my god, Chris! Another seizure! Someone get the nose! <laughs> I bet Jeffy's favorite salad is seizure salad. <laughs> I'm really good at food-based seizure jokes. Did someone call me again? Woo! Not as good as last time. Oh my god, another one! Now just calm down! Do I get to go home? Of course you do! Now come with me! Heck yes. I'm out of here, guys! Alright, Jeffy, I hope you feel better! Suck on this, Teach! Right this way! I know. Man, you guys are dropping like fries! Get back to taking your test! Guys, I think Jeffy just faked his seizure so he didn't have to take his test. <laughs> it looks like he really seized the opportunity. Whoa! Oh, dude. Oh, Cody, that's messed up. Yeah. What? I thought we were all making jokes. You can't make jokes about seizures. That's wrong. Yeah, it could be you. You never know, dude. Well, Bowie was making food jokes. <laughs> I bet him and Patrick are going to go eat at Steak and Shake. <laughs> <laughs> shake. That's what a seizure does. <laughs> Bitch. Ah, <laughs> settle down. You're supposed to be taking your test. Hey, not what, Jeffy, what are you doing home from school so early? School just started, Jeffy. Well, I got an A so fast in my test, the teacher said I could come home. You got an A on your test? I sure did, Daddy. I passed that bit with flying colors, boy. You never got an A on your test before, Jeffy. That's amazing, Jeffy. Yep, and there's going to be plenty more A's on my test coming around. Because you've been studying so hard? Yeah, let's go with that. Well, Jeffy, we have to go out and celebrate, but first, go do your chores. Go do the dishes and take out the trash. <laughs> Jeffy, knock it off. Go do your chores. Seizure! What? Marvin, I think Jeffy's having a seizure. Uh, uh, I'm gonna call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, he won't stop shaking. Whoa, whoa, hey, calm down, champ. Tell him I can't do my chores. But doctor, why is he shaking? Oh, it looks to me like he's having a seizure. Why? Uh, maybe he's epileptic? What does that mean? It, it, it means you have seizures. Well, what causes them? Yeah, how do you stop from happening again? Everybody shut up. I don't know. I don't know, okay? I'm not a very good doctor, and I cheated on that part of the test. I don't really know anything about seizures. I just know they have something to do with your brain. Okay, then what can we do to stop Jeffy from having seizures in the future? Um, I guess we could give him medication. I mean, I heard THC helps. Okay, where do we get THC? THC. Well, lucky for you, I'm a doctor. I can hook you up. Yeah, my friend sold me these brownies, and I was going to eat them alone in my house, but I'm pretty sure there's a good amount of THC in here. So if Jeffy has one, he shouldn't have any more seizures. All right, Jeffy, look, eat a brownie, and I'll eat one with you. Yeah, me too. Hey, <laughs> Marvin, what do us and those brownies have in common? <laughs> We're all baked. <laughs> whoa, whoa, look at my boy Jeffy. <laughs> he is in space, my guy. He is fucking zooted. <laughs> he is in Andromeda right now. No, 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 no. He is, he is beyond Andromeda. He is in Alpha Centauri. <laughs> he is riding the Hubble telescope. Whoa, whoa, Marvin. Marvin, look at this. Do you see my hand? Oh my god. I have the reflexes of a cat. Oh, I think I could catch a bullet. Oh my god, this uh, is amazing. I don't, I don't, I don't think Jeffy could take these brownies every day. Oh, I can. <laughs> I, I think he needs real medicine. Oh. Wait, wait, did you say something? I, I don't, I don't 
Feel good. Um. Uh, hey, I I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go drive home. Jeffy, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> okay, now that we're all sobered up, we have to find a realistic way to treat Jeffy's seizures. Well, maybe because Jeffy got so zooted, it cured his seizures. Do you think they're cured, Jeffy? Well, it depends on if you tell me to do my chores or not. No, I think you should stay away from chores. I don't want you to get dizzy or I'd fall over. Yeah, I agree. No chores for me. Marvin, I think I have the munchies. Yeah, me too. Let's go downstairs and get something to eat. Well, if we don't get pizza, I think I'm going to have another seizure again. So, Marvin, what are we going to have for dinner? Yeah, Daddy, what's the moves? Pizza time? No, Jeffy, I know what you're going to eat. You're going to eat a big old plate of green beans to help out your brain and eat some vitamins. Oh, no, Daddy. I feel it coming. What? I feel it coming. What? Marvin, he's having another seizure. What do we do? Pizza. Marvin, we have to call the doctor. Okay, I will get a doctor, doctor. Uh, hey there, is somebody called Dr. Doofenshmirtz? What? You know, like Phineas and Ferb? Candace? Candace Wiener fit in your mouth? <laughs> You're still zooted? Yeah, I get hungry on the way back to my car, so I had another brownie. Well, look, Jeffy's having another seizure! Hey, hey, man, calm down. You're good, bro. See, you're good. What happened? We tried feeding him green beans, and he had another seizure. Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> it's time for dessert. <laughs> see, Marvin? No more seizures. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, my brother in Christ, you're in another dimension, my boy. <laughs> see, he can see colors we can't even imagine. Colors that are not even on the color wheel. <laughs> hey, Marvin. Hey, Marvin, you know who my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster is? It's Red-Eyes Black Dragon. <laughs> you get it? Because he's baked. <laughs> oh, hey, hey Marvin, you know what pisses me off is when people say tomato, tomato, but like, I've never heard anybody say tomato, <laughs> like, like, I'll give you that cheeseburger, but no tomato, <laughs> nobody says that, or like, like potato, potato, like nobody says potato either, like, like I'm gonna go play with my Mr. Potato head, <laughs> or, or, or give you that bowl of mashed potatoes, <laughs> oh man, okay, alright, I think I'm gonna go home. Okay, now that we're all back to normal, Jeffy, we have to find a real way to cure your seizures other than eating those brownies. But Marvin, those brownies help Jeffy's seizures. Well, he, he can't eat those brownies his whole life. He can't function being like that all the time. So, Jeffy, just go to your room and lay down until we find out a way to help you. But I wanted to play Fortnite all night. You can't play Fortnite, Jeffy. That's a video game. In a video game, it's flashing lights on a screen. That will cause another seizure. It will? Yeah, so go lay down. But what if the video games help my seizures? It, it won't, Jeffy. Just go lay down and rest. Okay, daddy. And make a loud noise if you have a seizure. Go, dude! Okay, guys, guess! Uh -huh. Uh, wiener. Is it a wiener? A, cro a crooked wiener. A crooked wiener. I'm seeing a crooked wiener. No! Uh, a, dri a drippy wiener. A crooked drippy wiener. No, it uh, has... Uh, uh big... Uh, balls. A crooked drippy wiener with big balls. What? No! It, look, Cody, it's a faucet. Like, like a water faucet. Oh, I'm so close. Hey, guys! Oh, hey, Jeffy, I have a question. Did what? you Did you fake the seizures at school today to get out of taking the test? Sure did, Junior. And I've been faking seizures all day and getting baked. Rad. What? Jeffy was faking it this whole time? Oh, he's so grounded. Baby! What's wrong, Marvin? Did you know that Jeffy's been faking his seizures all day? Don't say that. No, 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 no. I just heard Jeffy tell his friends that he faked his seizure in school today to get out of taking a test. What? So it all makes sense now. Jeffy faked his seizure to not do his chores. He faked his seizure not to eat his green beans. He's been faking his seizures all day. Oh my god, Marvin, what do we do? We whoop him! Jeffy, get in here! Dearest father, are you going to give me a spanking? Oh, you're damn right I'm gonna give you a spanking. Whatever for? Because you've been faking your seizures all day, Jeffy! No, I have. Yes, you have! Oh, uh, 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 oh. Well, what if he's actually having a seizure? I'm not falling for it this time! Jeffy, knock it off! All right, you caught me. See, Jeffy, you've been faking your seizures. That is so wrong. That is, you're making fun of people who have seizures? I'm sorry, Danny. No, Jeffy, there's people out there really suffering from seizures, and you're sitting there faking it for your own personal gain. That is so wrong, Jeffy. I know, Daddy. I won't ever do it again. You better never do it again, right? Jeffy, it's so wrong. You know what? I'm going to have to call that doctor back and let him know that we're sorry for wasting his time because Jeffy was faking his seizures. All right, I'm starting to think you guys are just calling me for my brownies. No, 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 no brownies. I just want to let you know that Jeffy's been faking seizures all day, and I want you to tell him it's wrong. Meh, it's all good in the hood, bro. Well, no, it's not all good in the hood. What Jeffy did was wrong, and I want him to be grounded. Hey, 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 man, you need to calm down. You know what I think? I think you need to have some more brownies.
<laughs> you see you Marvin? You're not so mad anymore, are you? <laughs> hey, hey, you know what word I hate? Nonchalant. It, it doesn't even have an S in it. It's chalant with the C-H. <laughs> and that's some bullshit. <laughs> and you notice you can never be chalant. Just nonchalant. You never hear anybody say, man, I am very chalant. I'm having a bad day. I'm feeling very chalant today. <laughs> you never hear that. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what else is crazy? Like, like wood comes from trees, but houses are made of wood. So if you think about it, all houses are tree houses, man. Damn. Our Halloween costumes are so cute. Jeffy's the cat in the hat and we're thing one and thing two. And thing three is in my pants. I'm just tired of Halloween already. It's my winter. Marvin, don't say that. Halloween's amazing. You get to dress up in costumes, you get to carve pumpkins, and you get to go trick-or-treating. Cat penis. Jeffy, stop it. Well, Danny, what does a cat wiener look like? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it. Listen, I'm just, I'm tired of Halloween. Like, you dress up in costumes every year. It's so shocking. I don't wanna look at a cat wiener, Jeffy. Why is it bigger than mine? Put your phone away, Jeffy. Okay, so what, do, what does everyone want to do for Halloween? Well, I think since I'm dressed up as the cat in the hat, I should try to rhyme every time I talk. Okay, uh, what's your favorite candy? Reese's Pieces. Um, what's your favorite part about Halloween? Reese's Pieces. You can't say Reese's Pieces to everything, Jeffy. Uh, what's your favorite color? Reese's Pieces. But that's not a color! Marvin, maybe he's saying he likes the color orange and brown. And yellow, pillow. Yellow and pillow don't rhyme, Jeffy. Yes, it does, Santa Claus. What the, that doesn't rhyme. Okay, look, I'm gonna stop getting so mad about your stupid costume and, and the rhymes. All right, listen, so what are we gonna do first? Let's carve pumpkins. What's carve pumpkins, I asked. What's carve pumpkins? But you can't rhyme your first sentence with the... <sighs> we're gonna go carve pumpkins, Jeffy, come on. Okay, Jeffy, you're gonna carve this big pumpkin right here. And I'm gonna carve this tiny one. If my wiener was your pumpkin, it'd be the tiny one. That didn't rhyme, Jeffy. Reese's Pieces. You can't end every sentence with Reese's Pieces. That doesn't count. Well, rhyming's too hard, so I give up. Okay, look, let's just carve this pumpkin. What does carve pumpkin mean? Uh, baby, show them what it means. Okay, you take a knife, and then you stab your pumpkin like this. Ah! You stabbed your baby pumpkin in front of its mommy! You're going to hell! Murderer! Jeffy. Murderer! You're supposed to Murderer! Jeffy, you're supposed to do that what carving pumpkins is. Murderer! Come on, Jeffy. You guys killed a baby pumpkin! We were carving- Murderer! That's how you carve pumpkins, Jeffy! Hey there, somebody call the cops? Or should I say, a Jedi? What? Hold on. Damn it, stupid thing. Um, give it a second. It's supposed to light up. Uh, uh, ha, 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 a Jedi? Isn't that sick? Isn't technology amazing? You know, like those Velcro shoes? You don't even have to learn how to tie your shoes. I sure didn't. Anyway, why'd you guys really call me? My parents are murderers! Oh no, were they killing younglings? Yes! That sounds like Sith behavior to me! Ugh. Ow! You, come here! Ugh. Ow! Okay, I took care of them, but what's really going on? Okay, we were carving pumpkins, and we stabbed the baby pumpkin. In front of the mommy pumpkin? What, yeah. Ugh. Ow! Okay, first of all, actually, also, anyway, nevertheless, uh, carving pumpkins is not illegal. We were trying to tell Jeffy that, it's not illegal. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go back home and pass out candy, which is is what you should be doing. Ugh. Okay, all right guys, we're gonna do what the cop said. We're gonna go pass out candy, come on. All right, Jeffy, when you hear the doorbell, you're gonna pass out candy, okay? Okay. There's someone at the door. What, Jeffy, you're supposed to wait for me to open the door. Oh, okay. Trick or treat, ow! What, Jeffy, no, you're supposed to toss the candy in the bag. Oh, okay, let me try again. Well, no, don't give me more candy. Ow! I'm racist cops. We all pass out candy to racist cops. What? What? No, racist cops. All right, look, you got enough candy so you can go. But he didn't put the candy in the bag. Look, just go. Okay. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, I'm gonna pass out candy to the next trick-or-treater because you don't know how to do it. <gasps> There's someone else. Trickleist, trickleist. Your boy, Dougie. You're supposed to say trick or treat. Church is chicken. What? No, no, look, you can't trick or treat at your own house. But I don't want no candy. I want some money. I'm not giving you money. Well, I need the new Coolerist Doodleist. Look, look, look we, you can get that later. Well, I'm the Kool Aid Man. Oh, yeah. Buy your boy, Dougie. Wait, where's my money? <sighs> okay, look, let's go upstairs and figure out something else because handing out candy's not fun. 
Okay, we just passed out candy. We carved pumpkins. I'm ready to go to bed. No, Marvin, we still have to go trick or treating. Yeah, Daddy, I want some candy. Okay, let's hurry up and go trick or treating. Let's get it over with. Actually, Marvin, I'm tired. I'm gonna stay home. Well, no, if anyone gets to stay home, it's me. I don't want to go out in the cold. Well, someone has to pass out candy. Well, yeah, Daddy, she's got a point. Well, I'll pass out the candy. No, Marvin, you're thing one. Thing two by themselves doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Daddy, I got thing two right here. I'm on the roof. Oh, okay, come on, let's just go. Okay, Jeffy, let's hurry up and go trick-or-treating so I can go to bed. <laughs> trick-or-treaters, ugh. Hello? <laughs> trick-or-treat, what, what the fuck? What, Jeffy, don't, don't throw candy at him. Uh, what are you doing here, Goodman? I'm here for your house payment, Marvin. Already? Yeah, because it's the end of the month. Uh, well, me and my son were about to go trick-or-treating. Marvin, do you know what my costume is? You're a horse? Yeah, and in case you're wondering, the carpets do match the drapes. I got a horse cleaner, Marvin. Okay. Yeah, so since you don't have my house payment, I'm taking your candy that you're going to give out to the kids in your neighborhood. What? So now you look like an asshole. Well, don't, don't do that. Trick or treat. Oh, oh. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. Okay, Jeffy, this is the first house. Danny, why do I have a cupcake pan? Because we didn't have any trash bags. Are we poor? Yes. Aww. Ooh, trick or treat. Jeffy, be nice. Hello? Trick or treat, suck my ass. What, Jeffy? Oh, what lovely man is. That's the spirit. I'm Count Succula. I can suck anyone off. Yes, you can. I was her first victim before you knocked on the door. Thanks for interrupting. Uh, what are you supposed to be? Oh, I'm Tiger, the rapper. Oh, I thought you were a tigger. Ooh, you one let off from getting the ass open, boy. Here you go. Here's some candy. All right, Jeffy, what do you say? Piss off. What, Jeffy? Come on. Oh, Count Succula, I, I think I need to be a victim again. <laughs> Meow. Okay, Jeffy, this is the next house. This is not the candy you're looking for. Oh, hey, it's you guys. I guess you came here for the good candy. Well, too bad, because it's all mine, especially the Reese's Pieces. No one can have those. Those are my favorite. Now, boy, you need don't be stingy with the candy. Ugh, this is my wife. She's a mermaid. It has nothing to do with Star Wars. Boy, you were supposed to be my Prince Eric. Yeah, well, I don't know who that is, so you can have fun passing out the candy, but don't give them my Reese's Pieces. Uh, can we have some candy, please? Okay, sure. There you go. Happy Halloween. More. Jeffrey, no, come on. Boy, I handed out the candy. Wait, wait a minute. One, two, wait. Karen, two of my Reese's Pieces are missing. Your what? My Reese's Pieces D's. Oh, I thought you said Reese's Cups. We don't have any Reese's Cups, Karen. Well, I'm sorry, Boyney. I didn't understand the directions. Hey, you young guy. Well, Jonathan, what are you doing here? Well, since I'm your brother, I figured it was okay if I just walk in your house. No, leave. You didn't even ask me what my outfit was. I'm tomato. Cause you're like toes. Get it? <laughs> Carrie, show me your toes. Oh, I'm a mermaid. I don't have toes. Show me your booby then. Okay, Jonathan, I think you need to leave. Can I have some candy first? No. <laughs> Mom. Oh, don't tell mom. Damn it. Karen, I can't believe you gave away two of my Reese's pieces. I'm gonna, I know where those people live. I'm gonna go find them and I'm gonna get my candy back. Boy, you leave those nice people alone. <laughs> okay, guys, let's look at all the candy we got from trick or treating. Yeah. Okay, well, I got some fruit roll ups. I have not quite enough Snickers to spell Snickers, but I can spell Rick's and I have some Starburst. Cody, what is your Halloween costume supposed to be? Yeah, dude, I was wondering that all day. Wait, really? Come on, I'm Harry Potter. Oh, you look like a lawyer. What, a lawyer? Is this what you think a lawyer looks like? Well, you have a tie on and a suit and the Harvard scarf. What, what did you think this thing in my hand was? Um, it, like a pen so you could write down stuff in court? But no, why, why do you think I have a broom? So you could sweep up your office? Dude, I thought you were a lawyer but from Antarctica. What, Antarctica? Yeah, because of the scarf, duh. Oh, yeah. No. Well, Joseph, what is your costume supposed to be? Isn't it obvious, dude? I'm a green astronaut. Oh, yeah, a famous green astronaut. I've heard of those. Uh, uh, Cody, you haven't asked what my costume is. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Well, come on, guess. Is it my mom? No. But really? No, it's not your mom. It's your mom, but in Minecraft. Uh, Jesus. He's thinking outside the box. Junior, you've already been my mom for Halloween before. But I've never been your mom in Minecraft. I guess that's true. Okay, guys, let's trade some candy. Okay, what's your first offer? Okay, well, I really want that Starburst. So, I'll trade you a Milky Way for your Starburst. No, 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 no way. No way I'm trading my Starburst for a little tiny mini Milky Way. Okay, how about this? I will trade you um, ooh, my Kit Kat for the Starburst. Mm, no, no. How about your Cheez-Its for my Starburst? I'm not trading my Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its, okay? So, how about I trade you my fruit snacks for your Starburst? Well, I already have Mott's fruit snacks, and that's actually pretty similar, so no. Uh, okay, okay. Joseph, I, I, you have two Starbursts, so I'm going to trade you something. 
Um, I'll trade you my cheese. It's for your Starburst. Oh, dear, dude. But what the fuck, Junior? That's exactly what I wanted. But he has two Starbursts, so he, he has, like, more to trade than you do. What? Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna pass up on a good deal. <laughs> but it's the same, but... It's not the same deal. Look, now, give, give me my... Give me yeah, there you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have been greedy. Should have given me the Starburst. This is bullshit. Hey, guys, call me the baker's man, because I got a cupcake pan. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus, are those Reese's Pieces? Oh, dude, I'll trade you all my candy for the Reese's Pieces. No, I'll trade you all my candy for the Reese's Pieces. Oh, no, I want the Reese's Pieces. Back off, guys. The Reese's Pieces are mine. Yo, man. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Ugh, I'm done with this stupid holiday. Baby, can you help me take my costume off? Okay, Marvin. Be careful. You don't want to touch my thing one. <laughs> my... My one thing. What? My one Daddy, I struck gold. Check it out. Two packs of Reese's Pisces. Wow, Jeffy, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm going to eat them. Not so fast. Those Reese's Pieces are mine. Wait, 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 actually, he got them trick-or-treating, so they're his. Yeah, well, my, and I hate to call her this, my wife accidentally passed those out, and she knows they're mine, so I am taking these. And if you have a problem with that, you're gonna die. Well, then you're gonna have to fight me. Oh, yeah, my red thing's out. Ew, yeah, my ew, red thing's ew, out. Oh, 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 no, I dropped my lightsaber. If you strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Ow, my eye! Ow, I'm telling my mommy. All right, Daddy, open up a pack of these Reese's pussies. <laughs> Doing. I'm in my lion costume, Daddy. A lion doesn't go. Well, this one does. Jeffy, look, take your costume off. It's not Halloween. No, Daddy, I just want you to put it on to make sure it was scary. Rawr! Is it scary? No, it's not scary, Jeffy. Well, I bet if I ate someone's face off, it'd be scary. Jeffy! You're not Jeffrey Dahmer, you're a lion. Well, my name's Jeffy. Look, just, just, just go outside, Jeffy. Alright, Daddy. Rawr! Wee! I'm playing at the playground with my pencil, no shoes, and my pants are down. This is a good day. Wee! Oh, oh Jesus Christ, it's a lion! Oh, 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 oh. So, baby. Yeah, Marvin? Jeffy's outside, and we're all alone. Oh! <laughs> So I was thinking maybe I can give you a full body massage. Okay, Marvin. I see where this is going. See what it leads to. <laughs> oh, sick. You're sick. You're just sick. <laughs> I got you, Marvin. That's disgusting. <laughs> Let's do it again. No, the, the news is on. Let's watch the news. Breaking news, okay? A lion has escaped from the local zoo and attacked a child at a park. We have an exclusive interview with the child now. Let's go to that. So I was at the park with my favorite pencil that I always bring with me to the park, and then suddenly a lion attacked me and I stabbed him in the nose. Wow, truly terrifying. If you've seen this lion, please call 911 immediately. There's a $10,000 reward for anyone who finds him. Marvin, there's a lion on the loose and Jimmy's out! Okay, I'll go get him. Oh, thank God, Jeffy, there you are. You have to go inside right now. There's a lion on the loose. Don't you yell at me, Jeffy. Get inside. Jeffy, knock it off. Oh, good, Marvin. You found Jeffy. Yeah, but he won't stop acting like a lion. Wow, Jeffy, your roar's gotten really good. <laughs> Jeffy, just go to your room. Or Jeffy! What did he do, Marvin? He clawed open the couch! Jeffy, you're not a real lion. You can't do that. Yeah, Jeffy, go cut your fingernails. <laughs> oh, it's gonna cost so much money to fix the couch. All right, world, hear me roar. Roar! Oh, hey, what's going on? Gotcha, you, you little bastard. Don't worry, everybody, I caught the lion. Where are you taking me? What, a talking lion? No, 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 I think I still have some of those brownies in my system. Come on, let's go put you down. Oh, baby, yeah, oh, I love the way that feels. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh. Hey, Shaggy B, what are you doing? Oh, Junior, I'm beating my meat. Oh, leave me alone. Let me beat it in peace. I can help. Oh, Cody, I know how to beat my meat by myself, okay? Leave me alone. I could use my mouth. Just, just get out of here. Get out of here, scram, you little brats. God. Wait, wait, what happened to my meat? Who took my meat? Junior! What's wrong, Chef Pee, Pee? What did you guys do with my meat? Well, we didn't do anything with it. You wouldn't let me help. Look, I was beating my meat, then you guys came in there and bothered me, now it's gone! Well, I'm sorry for interrupting, but I can help you get it back up. Yeah, help me get it back! Alright, whip it out. Whip, 
No, 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 not that. I'm talking about a steak. Steak? What steak? Oh my God, God, Cody. Marvin! What's wrong, Chef PB? Have you guys seen my meat? What? Seen your meat? Yes, it's big and floppy. I was just beating it in the kitchen. What? No, we haven't seen your meat. Come on now. Somebody seen it because somebody grabbed it. Now tell me who grabbed it. I didn't grab your meat. Did you grab it? No, I didn't grab no. your meat. I know you grabbed it. You look like you grabbed meat. Come on now. No, did I did not grab your meat. Baby, you grabbed his meat. Marvin, I didn't grab his meat. Now I wouldn't blame you if you wanted a taste of it. What? What? No, we didn't taste it. Look, tell me who grabbed it and I'll give you a taste of it. I promise. What? No, no, no. I'm going to call the cops. You're being perverted, Chef PB. What? Be perverted? I'm just talking about my steak. Wait, steak? Yes. Wait, wait. Look, he has it. What? Jeffy, you ate Chef PB's steak or give it back. Get my meat out your mouth. What? <laughs> Get it. Give it up. Your... Sorry, Chef PB. Yeah, that's my meat. Don't touch my meat no more. Jeffy, you know what? You're a grounder for taking Chef Pee-Pee's meat. Come on. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, lay down and go to sleep. It's past your bedtime anyway. Ah. Hey, you better calm down. You're lucky I'm letting you wear your lion costume to bed. Ah. Go to sleep. Ah. 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 So, Marvin, did you get Jeffy to bed? Yeah, but he was fighting it. So, we're alone again. Yeah. Do you want to give me another back massage? Oh, no, I'm not going to fall for that again, Miss Toots Columbo. Well, come on, Marvin. How about if I give you a back massage? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, lay down. Hey, Marvin, look up real quick. What? Back up, sick, sick. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you. <laughs> the news is on, the, the, the news. Breaking news, okay? The lion that escaped from the zoo has been found. Since the animal attacked someone, he has been deemed too dangerous to keep alive. He is being euthanized by firing squad tomorrow on pay-per-view. Thank God they caught that lion before it hurt someone! Ugh, my eyes are so itchy. What's wrong, Marvin? My eyes are itchy. Oh my God, your eyes are pink! What, they're pink? Why would they be pink? I don't know, maybe you caught something! Call the doctor! Okay, I'm gonna call the doctor. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a very happy doctor. Why are you so happy? Because I caught the lion. You lion! No, no I'm not. Hey, listen here, okay? It was on the news. There was proof. The city paid me to catch that lion, okay? I don't appreciate you calling me a liar because I caught the lion and it's gonna be executed tomorrow morning by firing squad on pay-per-view. Anyway, why'd you call me? Because my eyes are pink. Hmm, well that could be caused by one of two things. Either you've been having some of those special brownies I make, or you got pink eye. But what's pink eye? Well, it's when you get shit in your eye. What? Yeah, you get some fecal particles in your eye and it makes them all red and itchy. What, fecal particles? Yeah, you know, doo-doo. What, how would doo-doo get in my eye? Well, I don't know, uh, I guess sometimes when you're wiping your butt, you know, and your finger breaks through the toilet paper, you get some poo-poo on your finger, and then you rub your eye, and then, you know, you get pink Who would do that? You, apparently. Well, no, that's not what I did. What? Could it happen from someone farting in your face? Well, yeah, but why would that ever happen? What if your wife did it to you twice? What? Oh my god, did, did she do that? It was a prank! Yeah, she farted right in my face. No, no, no. Do you want to press charges? I would like to, yeah, because she farted right in my face. It was wet and stinky. If it my, was funny! If my wife did that to me, they would make a Netflix documentary about what I did. I would kill her. What, you, uh, listen, how do I fix the pink eye? Well, I could give you some, uh, you know, some antibiotic eye drops, but I don't have those on me, so you'd have to go to a pharmacy, you know, like Walgreens or CVS or Walmart Pharmacy, or Kmart? Is that still a thing? Well, I don't think they had pharmacies when they were around, so don't go there. Okay, so what do I do? Well, just don't let her fart on you again, but definitely get that looked at. Ugh, it's so itchy. I'm sorry. You gave me pink eye. I'm sorry. All right, everyone, my meat is ready. Who wants to taste it? Ooh, I'll try it. All right, baby, while you taste his meat, I'm gonna go ask Jeff if he's hungry, because he hasn't ate anything for dinner. Okay. Wow, wow. Jeffy, are you hungry? <laughs> Jeffy? Listen, there's a steak in there if you want to eat some. Okay, mister, for raising your voice at me, now you have to eat green beans. So come on, come on. Baby, I'm going to go feed Jeffy green beans because he talked back to me. How was Chef Pee-Pee's meat? Oh, it was really good. Nice and juicy. Wait, there's no bite taken out of the steak. <laughs> Chef Pee-Pee strikes again! Oh, you Chef Pee-Pee, why I oughta... Ugh, I'm going to go feed Jeffy green beans. <laughs> Jeffy, stop chewing on the table. <laughs> I got you a big old plate of green beans, so eat up. That is it, mister! You are so grounded! Come on! Baby! I'm sorry, Marvin! It won't ever happen again! What? what? No, no, no! Jeffy threw his plate of green beans on the ground! Marvin, he always does that. Well, I'm sick of it, so you're grounded, Jeffy! And also, I found out that Jeffy has homework. Oh, but why don't you help him with it, Marvin? Okay, Jeffy, I'll help you with your homework. Okay. What is the estimate of 3.596 plus 2.4? Anyway, Jeffy, you're the one in school, not me. You're the one that has to do this homework. So do it. <laughs> Jeffy! 
don't you worry, bad, bad guy. Oh, oh, he bit my head. He bit my head. Let go of Jay. Let go. Oh, he bit my head. Oh my God, Marvin, your head looks horrible. You need to call the doctor. Jimmy, I might press charges on you now that you're 18. You might go to jail. Oh my God, my head hurts so bad. I'm gonna call a doctor. I'm gonna call Marvin, a doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor. My head! Hey, you are not going to raise your voice in me, sir, okay? We're going to use our inside voices like adults. Now tell me what happened. My hand! Jesus Christ, look at your hand! What happened? Oh, my God, has anybody seen his hand? My son bit my hand. What, your son did that? Yeah. <laughs> Th that's not your son, that's a lion. He's just in a lion costume. Huh, how about that? Wow, that is a really realistic lion costume. Where'd he get it? Spirit Halloween. No, he did not get that at a Spirit Halloween. No, if you don't want to tell me, just say so. Listen, what are we gonna do about my head? Man, that's pretty torn up. You want to press charges? Yeah, because he didn't even say he was sorry. <sighs> Man, that looks pretty bad. You might need stitches. Yeah, it hurts really bad. Hold on, hold on, I'm having a flashback here. Hmm. Oh my god. What? I just remembered. I didn't wash my hands after I wiped. Ew, I'm gonna get pink eye now. Well, don't wipe that on me. Hey, you already have pink eye. What do you care? That's gross. Wait, wait, wait. I'm having another thought. Huh. That lion I caught was in your front yard. You lion. Bitch, I already told you that it was on the news. There's proof, okay? Wait, 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 what, were you, what, what were you talking about? What were you talking about? I... Damn it, I forgot. You, you were saying something. We'll try to remember. Backtrack. Okay, hold on. Stinky fingers. Pink eye, wiped it on you, interrupting cow. You said there's a lion in my front yard. Yes, yes, the lion I caught was in your front yard, and he could talk. What, you he... lion! Hey, okay, I... I'll kill you. Oh, no, listen, you said he... Okay, you said a lion could talk? Lions can't talk. Oh, this lion could talk. H hold on, make your lion talk. Jeffy, say hi. <laughs> say what's up. <laughs> he can't talk. Hmm, this lion can't talk, but the lion I caught said he wasn't a lion. So he wasn't lion? Huh. Maybe he wasn't lying. Maybe he really wasn't a lion. Maybe I caught your son. What? And if I caught your son, then that means... Uh-oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what do we do? I don't know, man. The only lion I ever caught was your son, and he came quietly. I don't want to die! Come on, think of something, think of something. Hmm. I have an idea. <laughs> oh, man. That is some good catnip. <laughs> I can see why cats love it so much. Oh, Marvin. Marvin, look at the lion. He, he, he's just lying around. <laughs> Marvin, well, he's not a lion. He's a hyen. <laughs> because he is suited out of his goddamn mind. Man's is stuck. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. But we gotta stop doing this to fix our problems. Wait. Wait, I gotta go save Jeffy before he's executed by firing squad tomorrow morning, and I gotta take the lion with me. Hey, hey, wake up, buddy. Uh, he's not waking up. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Hey, Marvin, I saved Jeffy just in the nick of time, too. They were about to blow his head off. Yeah, I felt like I was in Call of Duty. Good. That was, that was good. Wait, you guys ain't cutting him without me? <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> Today was a wacky day. <laughs> Marvin, are we still watching a scary movie tonight? Yes, baby. Jeffy's put on his pajamas, then he's going to bed, and then we're going to watch a scary movie. Ooh, I'm so excited! Hey, Daddy, check the fit. I got my bunny shoe on, got my carriage on. I'm ready for bed. Oh, you are ready for bed, Jeffy, so how about you hop on over to your bed and go to sleep? No. What do you mean, no? Before I depart off to bed, I have just the teensiest request. What's your teensy request? I would like one pepperoni pizza. Jeffy, you're not getting a pepperoni pizza before bed. Why well, want pizza? Jeffy, say please. My balls itch. Okay, first off, even if he says please, he's not getting a pizza before bed. And also, Jeffy, what about your balls? Just stop it, Jeffy, listen. Pizza before bed will, uh, give you nightmares. Pizza these nuts. What? I'll give you a pizza something. Jeffy, you... You can't, you said the, 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 the punchline before the- Pizza these nuts! Look, you're not getting pizza before bed! Danny, I assure you, your night will go a lot smoother if you get me pizza. Is that a threat? No, Danny, it's not a threat. I'm just saying the back of my bunny suit opens up and it exposes my butt cheeks. And I had one of those watery poops today and I didn't wipe my turd tunnel. So I have plans on rubbing it across your couch like writing happy birthday on a birthday cake. But instead of icing, it's gonna be shit from my poop hole. Marvin, I kind of want a pizza now. How'd that make you hungry? I am going to wipe my poop hole, the dirty poop hole, across your couch like smearing Crayola crayon. Okay, Jeffy, I'll get you a damn pizza. Great. All right, Jeffy, here's your pepperoni pizza. Ew! What's wrong? Why are those red things on it? Those are pepperonis. Well, I don't like 
like pepperonis. Take them off. You said you wanted a pepperoni pizza. Where's the cheese? Under the pepperonis. Well, I want the pepperonis taken off. Uh, okay, fine. I'll take the pepperonis off. <sighs> all right, Jeffy. I took all the pepperonis off the pizza so you can eat it. I don't want it anymore. I want hot dogs. <laughs> Father, you're scaring me. Jeffy, you're going to eat this damn pizza. <laughs> Marvin, the sooner he eats, the sooner we can watch our movie. Baby, you're not going to actually play his game. He wants hot dogs now. You want hot dogs, Jeffy? Yeah, Mommy. But you're going to want to write this down because I like my hot dogs a certain way. Okay. Yeah, so check it. This is what I want. I want two hot dogs boiled. Then when they're done cooking, I want you to put them on a plate loosely. No bun or anything because I like to watch them roll around. Then on the center of the plate, I want you to put ketchup and mustard on there. But it's up to you to balance the plate so that the hot dogs don't touch the ketchup and mustard because if they do, you're going to have to start all over and then to drink I want some of the water that the hot dogs were cooked in with milk then once you got all that together go ahead and put that in the trash because I'm not gonna want that either Jeffy! Oh, that's it, Jeffy. You're going to bed. Hold on, I got one more request. Go to bed, Jeffy. But, Daddy, you didn't hear my request. I want grapes with the skin peeled off and I want bananas but I only want the stringy part. Good night, Jeffy. Oh, Jeffy frustrates me so much. Calm down, Marvin. Let's just watch the movie. And look, we have a cheese pizza we can eat. Yeah, you're right. And I guess if you want to add some sausage to that pizza, it's right here. You picked it off and put it in the corner. What? Those are pepperoni, not sausage. Pepperoni is a type of sausage. No, it's not. Okay, well, let's just sit here, you be wrong, and watch a movie. Okay. Air there, you caught me. Wait, Jeffy, go back to bed. But I heard movie and I want to watch a movie. You're not going to watch this movie, Jeffy. It's scary. Jeffy, it's really scary. You can't watch it. Well, how scary? Is it boom, scary or boom, scary? It's boom, scary. Well, I can watch it. I'm a big boy. What? No, Jeffy, it's going to give you nightmares. It's a really scary movie. I don't care, Danny, because I want to watch it. Oh, you know what? Fine. Then we'll watch it. But when you get nightmares, you don't come crying to me, okay? I won't go cry, Daddy. It's called Nightmare on Pooby Street. Great. <laughs> Wait, why am I jogging at night? <laughs> Suck my ball! Ah! Get over here! Ah! Run, man, run! Jeffy! I'm a, run! Ah! <laughs> no, please! <laughs> what, what the, what the, what? Damn cat! I'm tired of you scratching me while I sleep! Go! Get out of here, shoo! Man, the damn cat ruined my favorite white sleeping shirt. What's wrong, honey? Come back to bed! The cat scratched me while I was sleeping. I told you we should get that thing declawed! I know, I know, it's just... It's like cutting off their fingertips. I just don't feel comfortable doing it. It's just a cat! I, okay, I, I'm not gonna argue right now, okay? I'm tired. Ah! Ah! Wait, hold on, do that again? Oh yeah, uh, a little lower. Right here? Oh yeah, that's it. That's the spot. That's good. Okay, alright, you can kill me now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, Daddy! This movie's scary! Well, Jeffy, we told you it was a scary movie. So he killed you in your dreams and then killed you in real life? Yeah, that's the point of the movie. Ah, I'm not going to sleep! It's not real, Jeffy. So I'm not going to dream about him? Well, I mean, you just watched the movie, so you might. Marvin! Well, I'm just being honest. Like, the, 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 he's not going to kill you because he's not real, but you might have a nightmare about it. Marvin! I, I mean, it's just, I'm just telling the truth, baby. Marvin! I'm never going to sleep ever again! Mm. What are you doing, Jeffy? I'm trying to keep my eyes open so I don't go to sleep. At some point, you're going to have to close your eyes, Jeffy. No, I don't. You're going to have to go to sleep at some point. No, not. All right, Jeffy, how about this? What if I have this special little thing that will stop him from coming in your dreams? Special little thing? Yeah, look, look, come to your bed. Come, come on. Okay. Okay, Jeffy, come in the bed. But then my sheets will be all sticky. G get in the bed, Jeffy. Okay. All right, Jeffy, if you just go to sleep, Freddy won't come in your dream. Okay, well, how are we going to stop Freddy from blowing a load in my dreams? He's not going to come in your dreams. He's not going to go in your dreams because you ha I have this special little tool, and this tool will stop Freddy from coming, going into your dream. You won't dream about Freddy if you have this special tool. Okay. The tool's right here. It's this chapstick. So they say if you have a chapstick on your bed, then Freddy will stay dead. Okay. I'll let you know when that makes sense. So look, you can sleep and have all the dreams you want because this chapstick will stop Freddy from going into your dream. So good night, Jeffy. Okay. Good night, Daddy. All right, my daddy said that as long as I have my chapstick, then I'll be safe. All right, time to go sleep. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm on the same street as that movie. That means... <laughs>
Jeffy, 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 I'm just trying to check on you. What? Jeffy? Where'd you go, Jeffy? What? Jeffy? What? How are you floating like that, Jeffy? What? Jeffy, get back in bed! <laughs> oh, Daddy! That Freddy guy came in my dream! No, he didn't, Jeffy. You were just having a nightmare. No, Daddy! He really did! He picked me up and he was shaking me! We gotta call the cops! Well, I mean, you were just being shaken in the air like you were just floating there, so... So he actually probably was in your dream and, and picked you up. He is real. Yeah. We, we have to call the cops. Come on, Jimmy. Baby, 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 baby. We just called the cops. What? Why? Because Freddy's in Jeffy's dream trying to kill him. What? Hey there. Somebody called the cops? Yes. Oh, I can see why. Why not just order a cheese pizza? Who orders a pepperoni pizza and then picks the pepperonis off? That should be a felony. Officer, I have a question. Is pepperoni a sausage? Hmm. Everything was a sausage to my ex-wife, especially the next door neighbor while I was at work. Did he pepperoni? <laughs> That's not funny. My wife cheated on me with my neighbor. It was heartbreaking. But I'm glad you get to make your little pepperoni joke. Anyway, what do you fine people need? You need my help eating this pizza? Huh? Huh? You need my help opening the garlic sauce? You need my help dipping the pizza in the garlic sauce? You need my help eating the garlic sauce pizza? <laughs> no, listen, have you seen the movie uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? Which one? There's like nine. Well, whichever one has Freddy Krueger in it. That would be all of them, so yes. Well, listen, Freddy Krueger's in Jeffy's dream trying to kill him. Marvin, that's ridiculous. Oh, no, I believe him. Freddy is very real, and he kills people all the time. As a matter of fact, whenever we can't solve a case, we just chalk it up to Freddy. Well, well Freddy's in Jeffy's dream trying to kill him. How do we stop Freddy? Well, I have good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is stopping him's pretty easy. I know a guy who does that all the time. Time. Wait, you do? What's his name? Maybe you've heard of Jason Voorhees. He's my cousin. What, he is? Oh yeah, he kicks Freddy's ass all the time, so that's the good news. Oh, well then call him. Well, see, that's the bad news. The bad news is he lives on the bottom of a lake, and he only comes out on Friday the 13th, and today is Saturday the 29th. Not even fucking close. Well, well maybe you can, like, maybe you can do you a favor and come out today instead of the 13th. I mean, he lives on the bottom of a lake, so I can't really call him, but I guess I could send an email. Yeah, do whatever you have to do. Uh, hey, Cuzzo, it's me. You know that thing you usually do on Friday the 13th? Uh, need you to do that on Saturday the 29th. Please, thank you very much. Okay, well, let's see if he answers. everybody, he showed up! I, I know, Jason, I'm sorry. I know it's not your day. We just really need your help. Yeah, so, so, Mr. Voorhees, Jason, Mr., um, my son, Jeffy, he's been having a lot of bad dreams about this Freddy guy that's trying to kill him, and we want to know how to stop him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Jason says that Jeffy needs to go back to sleep, and when he dreams about Freddy, he needs to steal Freddy's hat, because Freddy hates that, and that'll bring Freddy into the real world, and then Jason can kick his ass. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right, Jeffy, let's go to sleep until you can take Freddy's hat, all right? Okay. Uh, uh, Jason also wants to know if you're going to finish that garlic sauce and the pizza, because we're hungry. You guys can have it. Yes. <laughs> all right, Jeffy, go to sleep, and when you see Freddy, you grab his hat, okay? All right, Danny. All right, I'm back on your street. Now, where is it? No! Oh, I got your hat. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I got the hat. Oh, give it to Jason. Give it to Jason. <laughs> That's not fair. That's my hat. Give it back. <laughs> Do this every time. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Jeff. Hey, he did it! Yeah, he killed Freddy! Yeah, he does that, but uh, don't let him catch you on Friday the 13th. He's not gonna be so friendly. That's when he kills everybody. <laughs> So, Jeffy, I hope you learned your lesson not to watch scary movies. I sure did, Danny. So, what are we gonna do for the rest of the night? Do you want to watch the sequel? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. Sure, yeah. yeah. Psst. Honey? What? Are you still attracted to me? Yes, of course. It's just, we never spend time together anymore. 
It's just, I've, I've been really busy recently, and I'm working a lot of hours, and I'm just, I'm tired, okay? You never even hold my hand! You are my hand! Just go back to sleep. Okay! <sighs> Honey, I told you I'm not in the mood right now. Ugh, kill me! Okay! Ah! I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You have a black eye, Jeffy. Did someone hit you, Jeffy? I can't remember. What do you mean you can't remember? I would remember if someone hit me in the eye or not. Well, I just don't know who did it. Marvin, we should call the cops. Someone assaulted Jeffy. You can't spell assault without ass. Jeffy, did someone hit you or not? I don't know. Well, we're going to call the cops. And they're going to find out who did it because they'll take like DNA off your eye and, and, and check everyone's fist. Marvin, what if Jeffy's afraid to tell us because the person that hit him is threatening to hurt him more if he does? Jeffy, is someone threatening you? I don't know. If you say I don't know one more time, I'm going to hit you. Well, now someone's threatening me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to call the cops. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, someone assaulted my son! <laughs> well, you can't spell assault without ass. Bingo! This guy knows what I'm talking about. Look, we just want to press charges on whoever did it. Okay, well, who did it? Uh, we don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? You can't press charges on somebody if you don't know who they are. Jeffy can't remember who did it, but can't you, like, scan his eye for, like, their fist print? What, fist print? What are you talking about? You can scan fingerprints, right? Yeah. So, like, can't you scan, like, the fist print and, like, go in the fist print database and find out whose fist it was? Fist print database? That doesn't exist. But there's a fingerprint database, and fists are just curled up fingers, so, like, can't you, like, get, like, a fist out of the fingerprints? What? No, no. no. Okay, that's not, that's not gonna happen. Then who, how can we find out who did it? Well, the only way we're gonna find out is if he tells us, or if the person who punched him punches somebody else and they tell us who it was, like if it was like a serial puncher. Well, can't you put out like an alert that like there's someone going around punching people? I'm not going to put out an alert for a like fist vigilante. But, but he's punching people and he's on the loose right now. We don't even know what the guy looks like. So then what are we supposed to do? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you what. You figure out who it is and I'll arrest him, okay? All I know is I didn't do it. Well, I didn't ask if you did it. Oh, I know, but you're going to start asking questions about who did it, and I just want to eliminate myself as a suspect, because I did punch a kid in the face today, but it wasn't him. Well, why'd you punch a kid in the face? Oh, he had it coming, believe me, I'll tell you. So earlier today, I was patrolling in the park, right? And it was a beautiful day. So I was just walking around, minding my own business, and then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this kid runs up, and he shoves me, and he yells, Tag, you're it! And I'm like, what, what the hell? What is this, some kind of game? So I start chasing him around, and I'm putting on the burners, right? Because this kid is fast. And he's running around, he's giggling, he yells, you're never gonna catch me! And I'm like, oh, when I catch you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat your ass. So then we're running around all over the park, and then he trips and he falls in a sandbox. And I'm like, oh, I got you now, you little bastard. And then he kicks sand in my face. And I'm like, oh, you're not gonna kick sand at me. So I punch him in the face, and I'm like, tag, you're it. And then he starts crying, and then his mom runs over, and she's like, you just punched my son in the face. And I'm like, yeah, I did. What are you going to do about it? So I throw her on the ground and I start arresting her. And then all these people run up with their phones out and they start taking videos of me. And I'm like, that's not good. So I start throwing haymakers. I start punching everybody there who has a phone. And then I take all their phones so there's no evidence of what I did. And I run away. So yeah, that's why I punched that kid today. Well, I guess if that's the only kid you punched in the Wait face. Wait a minute. I did punch another kid today. What, what you did? Why? Uh, don't worry. It wasn't your son, but you got to hear this. Well, this one's even worse. So I run back to my house with all the phones I stole from the people at the park, right? And I throw them down on the counter and I'm like, honey, sell these phones on eBay because we're going to need the money for all the lawsuits we're about to get. So she asked me where the phones came from and I said I confiscated them from some criminals. She goes, okay, well, I made you some pizza rolls for dinner. So I start jumping up and down because I love me some pizza rolls. So I grab a handful of them and she's like, careful, honey, those are hot. And I'm like, shut up, bitch. So I start shoving those pizza rolls in my mouth, right? And then my mouth is on fire. Those pizza rolls are boiling hot. They're burning the crap out of my mouth. I mean, they burn the roof of my mouth so bad, I got a little piece of skin that's hanging down and I keep playing with it with my tongue. It sucks. And then my, my wife, my wife has the audacity to say, I told you they were hot. So I throw the plate at her. I'm like, I know, I know what I did wrong. You don't have to tell me. I should have listened. I know, shut up. So then I'm in a bad mood, right? And then I hear the doorbell ring and I'm like, uh-oh, this must be the angry mob from the park. They want their phones back. But it's not. It's just some Girl Scouts selling Girl Scout cookies. So then I open the door and they say, do you want some Girl Scout cookies? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want some Girl Scout cookies. Shut up. Why am I even here? Take my money. So I give them a 20, right? And then you're not going to believe this. The Girl Scout says, okay, your cookies are going to be here in two to three weeks. 
What? I'm like, wait, wait, what the hell? What, what kind of Ponzi scheme is this? Are you even really a Girl Scout? So I punch her in the face and I take my money back. I, two to three weeks for cookies? What is this, the new iPhone of Girl Scout cookies? I'm not going to pre-order cookies. That's ridiculous. I, I could order cookies on Amazon Prime and get them faster. So I go to the store and I buy myself some Chips Ahoy and I'm happy. So I sit down on the couch and I'm like, two to three weeks for cookies, my ass, I say as I shove a cookie into my mouth in anger. And then I hurt myself because I remember I already burned my mouth on the pizza rolls. So now my mouth hurts and I hate that stupid little piece of skin that's hanging down off the roof of my mouth. Just, nah, nah, God, I hate it. Anyway, that was the second kid I punched. So you only punched two kids? Yep, just two kids. I mean, a whole bunch of adults at the park who had phones, but just two kids, and none of them were your son. So, how are we gonna find out who punched Jeffy? I don't know, just ask around, but be quick, because I might get fired by the end of the day. <sighs> Marvin, what are we gonna do? Okay, so we have to go ask everyone we know if they saw who punched Jeffy or if they punched Jeffy, so let's split up so we can ask more people. Okay, Marvin. 